Gamer, we are up and running and ready to get to work. Kind of a funny thing to say that I'm ready to get to work. Why would I be saying it? Right? You're going to play games, Peter. Come on. Well, the reality is I am not playing games. I am here for very serious work, and it is about the gospel. We have our verse for the day. Be strong and let your heart take courage, you who hope in the Lord. Now, when we think about our position in the history of mankind, it seems like just a blip. However, we have this time. We can use it wisely and well for his glory. And we can uh, take heart. We can have courage because even though our time is small and in the vast uh, array of things that are happening in the world, we can seem like we don't have much consequence. But that's not true. Take heart. Hope in the Lord. And know uh, that he is for you. Uh, he is uh, with you. He is very thoughtful of his saints. And each saint has a, a position in history that God has meticulously crafted for them. Mine is here in gaming, sharing the gospel. I'll, I'll be very, very thankful. There are some who have had um, much different circumstances. And each of them has been uh, handpicked for that time. And um, when we look at the world and we look at the things that are happening, it's very easy to get worried. It's very easy. Uh, but we are actually commanded not to. We are. This is our command. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who hope in the Lord. Now, if you don't hope in the Lord and you're trying to walk in the world and you're looking around trying to swallow whatever baloney they're trying to push lately, be it uh, different religions or trying to save the planet or live forever or enter into uh, this idea that you're going to live uh, eternally in the metaverse, uh, give it up, guys. Uh, there is no hope in that, uh, but there is hope in the Lord. All right, we got, hey, glad to see you're alive. It's been a long time. Haven't forgotten you and the work you do. Hey, thank you. That's very kind. Glad you have uh, come and glad you have chapter verse now on your channel. There you go. Now, you say you haven't forgotten me, but I just searched for your name. Um, and I am not knowing when um, when we met or anything. Did you change um, your, uh, your Twitch alias? Oh, thank you, Lord, for coffee. What a blessing from God. Pot number two. Oh. Uh, I even have a donut today. I'm a blessed man. Let's see here. We met late 2021. Okay, so did you change your name? Did you have a different uh, chat name? Because I am... Let's see here. Nope, same name. Well, then I am, I am a miss, so please forgive me. My name is Peter. Very nice to meet you again since 2021. Is it okay if I ask your first name? I will definitely make a note of it this time. So if you say we met 2021, I believe you completely. Oh, as always, men. All right. Coffee in hand, ready to go. And now you have chapter verse on your channel. So that's good. Let's see. Let's take a look at the server, see which one we're going to join today. Looks like... Ooh, that's pretty busy. It's first person only. We want to do it. I think this was the one I was on yesterday. Uh, reintroductions uh, are a second opportunity at a first impression. Oh, that's good. That is good. Brandon. Brandon it is. Now, I know I've met a number of Brandons. That is for sure. Um, now, here I did make a note of a Brandon. No, oh, that was Daisy. Might have written it down somewhere. There's Dabster Plays Brandon. <laughs> you gotta love some of these names. Snuggle Buddy Hug Me. That was a Brandon I met in 2021. Snuggle Buddy 
Hug me. <laughs> you can't even make this stuff up. Uh, well, it's a pleasure to reintroduce <coughs> ourselves to each other, Brandon. Wow, frog in the throat. <coughs> frog in the throat. Wow, that was, wow. Come on, man. Let me spare you from the... There we go. Just add more coffee. Exactly. Exactly. Well, great to make another first in, uh, introduction with you, Brandon. Um, I am going to put down that we did meet uh, in 2021. So, Brandon, thank you for coming and joining us today. We're about to get to work. This one's got a... Oh, it's in the yellow... I'd much rather be in agreement. There's 48 people on the server, and I've had really good results sharing the gospel with people for, uh, there. So I try to stay away from the. See, there's only like there's not a lot of people on, and so I'm gonna go for it. We're gonna we're gonna go there. I don't know why it pops me with this every time. I don't need to set anything up. All right, there we go. Yes, just add more coffee. I have a sad story. My coffee pot lid came off just as I was filling my, my, my mug. 25% loss. Now, that is why I strongly recommend investing in a good coffee mug. I don't have any of mine here right now, but um, good coffee mugs are, are paramount. It's right up there with, um, speaking of coffee mugs, I need to have all my equipment. Hold on a second. It's like having a good Bible carrier. Got to have a good Bible carrier. Got to have a good coffee mug. We have an importance in that. So let me get my let me get my Bible out. Aha. There we go. Now I used to have the Evidence Bible, which I strongly encourage uh, anyone to get. They're wonderful Bibles, but this is actually I, the the Evidence Bible, the text is too small. And I'm old and decrepit and I can't see anymore. So this one I can actually still kind of read. I'm not going to need to get glasses. <laughs> I'm putting it off. Uh, it was my coffee pot lid. I use a bubble mug. Not as pricey as Yeti. Yeah, I don't use a Yeti either. Yeah, I've got a, um, this is my go-to. It's a all metal um, French press. And so... Swanky, yeah. Yeah, it's got a nice dent in the side of it. Somewhere in here, yeah, right there. But uh, if I ever need to, I've got it. Um, yeah, I started doing French press when I was in um, Montana. And it kind of just stuck. The funny part is, like, you got to transfer the water so many times. You transfer the water to the filter. You filter the water. You transfer it to the French press. Then you... No. Water to filter... Filter to electric heater, heater to French press, French press to coffee cup, coffee cup to me. <laughs> That's a lot of processing. Oh, bother. It's nighttime and I am staring at, why is my thing like? Look a little gray in the background. Um, there, it's bad when you're in the game. And it's nighttime. I'm going to have to kill my... Uh-oh. I'm desyncing. That's not good. That's not good. Desyncing's not good. Uh, uh, do I exit out? I think that's the... Is that the desync option or the server going down option? I don't know which one. Um, we want some epoxy is what we want. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Do I have a flashlight? I have a flashlight, but no battery, if I remember correctly. Yep, flashlight, no battery. Oh, dog, there is a battery in it. Oh, oh yeah. Much better, much better. What do we got here? Jump pants. I got enough stuff for the moment. What am I doing with these boots? Damaged assault boots. I don't know if I can eat that without getting sick. I'm going to drop that. I'm going to eat this real quick. Hopefully it won't make me sick. Last time I had food like this, it made me sick. Let's see. I used to live the French press life. 
I humbled myself and went to a regular coffee pot. <laughs> I know what you mean. I don't mind drip coffee. It's just, why did I, why did we stop doing it? We moved to Montana and we were living off grid. And so the benefit of having uh, something that doesn't take electricity was like important. So that's where using the, um, like a, a pot on the stove to heat up the water came in handy because uh, it doesn't require electricity. But now we've returned to sanity and are living on grid and huh, no epoxy. That's a bummer. Let's see here. Uh, I had a pastor's meeting this morning and then devotional stream. I was thinking, what should I eat? Then I realized I haven't had breakfast. Cereal is. Well, I had a donut. I had a donut for breakfast. Anybody wants to look me up in the age to come. First round of donuts on me. Man of donuts, baby. Oh, yeah. Let's see. What do we got here? Bomber jacket. And not a fan. Let's see. So you had a pastor's meeting. Are you a pastor? That would kind of go together. I don't remember where the water is. I'm trying to find the water. Somewhere around here there's a water spigot. I don't know where it is. I still don't know what that button is in the top right hand corner. It looks very ominous. It's red and it looks mean. I have to assume the water is up here somewhere. Let's try to leave it open this time. Here we go. Whoa! What just happened? I think I'm in like a desync status, so this could be ugly. Oh, there he is. Hello, I support your channel's message. Why, thank you. And this channel's message is the gospel message. Because gospel means good news. The bad news is we've all sinned and deserve the wrath to come. But Jesus the Messiah died for our sins, was buried, and then raised again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and right now is seated at the Father's right hand. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. Oh, no. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Best news ever. If you have any questions about the gospel, that's the message we're here about. That's what we, we're here to talk about. We're here to preach about. We're here to evaluate everything about the gospel and the game is interesting and everything but it's not why we're here we are here for the gospel that is the message of this channel oh i wish i could bury him nope can't bury him that's too bad oh bummer but they did have iodine so we can treat these bandages so that's good and we can disinfect them cool Let's see here. Yes, Digital Pastor Missionary. We just launched our nonprofit and we are working toward empowering streamer creators to share the gospel. Well, please feel free to offer the use of Chapterverse. It is uh, part of my digital ministry. I don't know what a digital pastor is, though. That doesn't make a lot of sense to me, but I'm just going to say okay. Uh, let's see. Got that. Got that. Let's put that. The idea that I'm walking around with a sharpened bolt in my trousers is, that that's just seems alarming. That doesn't seem like a good plan. All right, we gotta figure out where the water is. Uh, your character bears on his backpack, which means police. You are exactly right, uh, Eugene. Um, in fact, I met yesterday a gentleman that I was able to share the gospel with, and he was Russian, and we were able to use chat GPT to translate the Bible into, or not the Bible, excuse me, the gospel message that we have on the channel into Russian uh, for him to read. And it worked really, really well. 
So very happy with that. His name. That's loud. That's going to attract a lot of zombies. Speaking of which, I don't see any zombies. That seems very odd. I get the feeling we're in a bad server state right now, because there's no zombies anywhere. I think I'm going to exit out and come back in again, because I don't know what's going on. That little thing in the corner there is concerning. Um, his name was Vladik. Now, I asked him multiple times, and I got to go back and listen to the trans uh, the video from yesterday, because he said his name, and he said it with like a thick... Uh, Russian accent, and so I, I asked him pro to, to pronounce it a couple different times, but um, he did um, hang around, and I got a chance to share the gospel with him and talk to him about it quite a bit. He did not um, respond, but he also didn't kill my character or anything like that. He hung around for a while, so good Lord willing, he will be at work. Okay, so now we're in game, we're in the same spot, and I don't have the nasty red thing on there. Although I still don't see any zombies. That's odd, but we'll see what happens. So yeah, he was translating some of the words in the game because he actually spoke uh, Russian. So that was, oh no, it popped up again. We might have to go to a different server guy. I don't think we're gonna be able to stay here. I don't know what that red thing is in the corner, but it looks bad. I'm assuming it's bad. All right. Uh, it's a new concept to me, too. I shepherd a community that some may never see set foot in a church, but church, but they have come and are confronted with truth, and God is moving. Uh, we have people that have given their hearts to Christ, and they started calling me pastor. I still encourage the physical gathering of believers. I'm very glad to hear that. I would be uh, very thoughtful of people calling you pastor. Um... The, the reality of a pastor is a physical reality. Um, you have to be able to be there physically um, with your congregation. So yeah, I'd encourage you to be thoughtful about that. We actually have a doctrinal statement coming out soon on um, virtual churches and how they are unbiblical. Uh, do you think anti-intellectualism is a serious issue at some Christian, at some churches? I don't know how I would even put that together. Welcome, Timmy! How are you doing today, Timmy? Timmy, here's my question for you. Have you read scripture yet today? And we got Andy in the house as well. Welcome, Andy. Uh, da, 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 da. We're gonna have to change server, guys. I'm bummed. But that was a good server. I'm gonna make sure I favorite that one, though. Yeah, it's not even showing up on the list now. Oh, it's 1460, I already favorite. Let's see what we got. Hopefully you can find one that's got players, high player count, and maybe? Oh, let's see here. Uh, BA is church leadership and 25 years of ministry, experience, and most importantly, a God-given calling. BA, BA in church. Oh, you're saying you have a bachelor, bachelor's degree? in church leadership and 25 years in ministry. Okay. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Um, well, Brandon, um, I always am thoughtful about using this technology wisely and well for the proclamation of the gospel. And I think it can be used for discipleship, but I am um, very thoughtful. In fact, our ministry, like I said, we have a board of directors and they are working right now on a doctrinal statement uh, that's making it very clear that we have to we have to draw a line. You can you can share the gospel, you can evangelize, you can do discipleship, you can do you can even do training. A lot of the stuff you can do virtual, but there's a line that's drawn between um, all of these other things and what we know to be as biblically sound Christian church. And so, a biblically sound tr Christian church, by its own definition. Uh, is not virtualizable, so something to be thoughtful about. I agree with the weight and responsibility. Of, oh yeah, man, my pastor—he is 
amazing. Pastor Jim Osmond, and I'll uh, encourage you guys to check out the um, the church. It's Kootenai. Kootenai. Uh, is it KootenaiChurch.org? Org. Um, was Paul a pastor to the church of Ephesus? I don't believe Paul is ever referred to as a pastor. Ever. I don't believe so, anyways. He's a church planter, and he's a, he's definitely an evangelist, but I don't believe he was ever referred to as a pastor. Um, and I'm an evangelist. In fact, I was having somebody yesterday. I, I get asked it pretty common when you meet people who are not um, Christians. They're like, oh, are you a pastor? Or you're, they, so they'll say, are you a priest? And I'm like, no, 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 no. I'm an evangelist. There's a big difference. So this is our pastor right here, Pastor Jim Osmond. He is absolutely uh, awesome. And now turn in your copy of... And I was actually just over there today. Let's see here. Missionary Gamer still unavailable in Russia. What's still unavailable? I don't know. What part? At Missionary Gamer. The YouTube channel, you mean? Oh. You can always VPN it. Just a thought. Give God's word to you. Um, the website. Oh, I don't actually do a lot with my Missionary Gamer website. It's more just a placeholder. So, uh, do you prefer the me? No, no, no. I'm a I'm a evangelist, and Paul was an apostle. So yeah, we'll be clear on that one. And it's not about what I prefer. It's about what's biblically accurate. So yeah, this is our mister, missionary gamer uh, website. I just, like I said, I don't do a lot with it. Lots of laughs. Okay, what do we got going on here? We're gonna find a server that we can join up in. I was on the 1462, that was not going well. This one's Livonia, but it's first person only. I won't subject you guys to, oh, there's no other, there's no other high player servers. Well, let's try this one for a minute and see if we get that ugly thing. Um, you're already running the game, needs to be restarted. Whoops, wrong one. Uh, your personal website, your personal website is available. Your church is not. Interesting. Very odd. I wouldn't have thought that. Uh, dun, 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 dun. Let's try this one. Let's see if Q, fourth, and Q. Okay. Let's see here. I agree, and Paul definitely is in a different category to today's church. Today. Oh, yeah. No, we, we. that's where we were just talking about that yesterday. There is a fundamental difference uh, between things in Scripture that are descriptive, much of Acts, uh, Matthew, Mark, Luke, and John. Those are descriptive um, to what happened then, and perscriptive, which is what we're to do today. And one of the mistakes we can make is when we take the descriptive and make it perscriptive for us today. And we have to be very, very cautious of that. I think we were talking about not the phrase, I can do all things to the Lord. Uh, it was, um, I know the plans I have for you. Which that was a descriptive uh, text that applied to uh, Jeremiah and the Israelites and should not be taken as a prescriptive text that applies to us as Christians today. However, there are plenty of amazing texts that say the same things to Christians. And that's what um, we were uh, using today for our verse of the day. Be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who hope in the Lord. Psalm 31, uh, 24. So now you say, well, Peter, that's Old Testament. Psalm uh, 31, 24. 31, 24. That's Old Testament. And I'm still in Russian. Whoops. Let me get back to English. Uh, let's see here. So we get back to English. And. And ASB, where you got, or ESV, either one will work. Give me one second here. I see your question, but give me un momento. We'll go ESV. Boop. We also got LSB too now, so I like the LSB. Wasn't it? Wasn't that the song? Where were we at? Um, isn't it somewhere? Bother. What person are we on today? Scroll all the way up to the head. Psalm 31:24. The other, I did. Psalm 31:24. It's right there. Why is that not working? There we go. Uh, be strong and let your heart take courage, all you who wait on the Lord. Well, you say, well, Peter, that was Old Testament. Well, let's look at it in context. So let's start like 20 and we'll go through. Notice what it says right here. Um, Love the Lord, all you his saints. All you his saints. Now, 
So what can we think about this? This applies to us. Why? Well, we're saints. Anybody who has repented and put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ is a saint. So that applies to us. All right, here we go. Um, Nathaniel says, Epitome has some great sermons on Acts. He does. I appreciate my faithful brother. Do you believe that there are modern day prophets? No, there are not modern day prophets. The, um, you have to understand the roles that people were in throughout uh, history were for very specific purposes and those purposes are concluded. And, um, uh oh. Oh, I got my character. I'm not in first person. All right, we're up in the middle of the woods again. All right. All right so when we think about um, prophets, what were they for? Well, they were they were they were the spokesmen of the Lord. Well, do we need that um, today? And the short answer is no. Why? Well, because we have a completed canon. They're the reality of, um, oh, I forgot you're a cessationist, right? No, I'm a Christian. If, if you're curious, I'm a Bible-believing Christian. And that is where, um, how do I open my compass? Let's see, that's south, that's north. So we kind of want to go that way. Right. Um, yeah, so... When you think about a Bible-believing Christian, we follow the word of the Lord um, where it leads, not where not where we want to drop people into categories. So my uh, position is I believe the word of God, and the word of God makes it very clear that um, these roles, or these um, roles may not be right. Is it roles? Offices. There we go. Many of these offices have been completed. For example, we don't need um, Moses, you know, the, the office he held, or Aaron and the priests or any of that. Why? Because we have Jesus, and Jesus is prophet, priest, and king. He holds all three roles. And sorry, guys, you aren't getting better than Jesus. So we have to be thoughtful of the, the history of the world and where God has brought us from, and where God is taking us to. And we have a completed canon. We have the completed Word of God, 66 books. Everything that you need to know for righteousness and godliness. And so from there, what are we to do? What offices are still available? Well, one of the offices we were just talking about is pastor. We still need pastors. Oh yeah, very, very important office. And it is an office that is... I can't do it. I don't. I don't know how my pastor does it. It's amazing to me. He has um, been called to that um, office, and it is so evident how God has outfitted him for that office. I would. I would go nuts um, doing the stuff that he's he's confronted with every single day. Why does my road look like it's getting worse? Oh, there's a house. Um, so what's my office? I'm an evangelist. God gave me the attributes to be an evangelist, primarily a big mouth so I can proclaim the gospel. And an overwhelming desire to be proclaiming the gospel. What brand of coffee do you drink? It is called Romans Nose. There's a local Christian, um, um, it's not, it's not a, uh, what is it called? Places that make coffee. They're a, um, brain kick in. What are the places that make coffee? They're not, um, roasters. There we go. It's a ro it's a roaster who's local and they run a Christian uh, operation. And it's very cool. So we, we frequent them and we're grateful for having a place that um, we drop our gospel tracks at and stuff like that. So it's pretty cool. Uh, it's here. Uh, yeah, it was a roaster. I was getting there. I was getting there. A little gray matter. Get a little soupy in there. Uh, but I'm still doing my best. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's called Roman's Nose. Maybe a bunch of these. Knives. Anything else around here? Nope. Uh, making our way in Day Z today. Takes everything we got. Trying to find food and water. Hoping we don't get shot. Wouldn't it be nice to share the gospel? Hoping that players won't be hostile. Ba, ba. I gotta figure out the rest of that song. And Andy, you know how to write songs and stuff. Finish it out for me, man. I gotta have like the next verse. Ba, ba. It's to the theme song, I think it was Friends. <clears throat> you gotta help me out, man. How's our stuff holding together here? Badly damaged, damaged. Can I fix the hoe with the sharpening stone? Ooh, I can. Yes. Uh, words that rhyme with gospel. Well, I mean, it's it's the next part. You got to go listen to the original song. It's the original song from. Um, it's not Friends. It was uh, Cheers. I said Friends. Sorry about that. I meant Cheers. So. I'm dating myself big time. Are you a Christian who believes that some or all gifts of the Spirit ceased after the first century? Um, I think a better way to ask is, are there gifts that have ceased? And the answer is yes. The gift of healing, the gift of tongues, the gift of... Um, those would be the two big ones right off the bat. So yes, I believe those have ceased. They are no longer uh, needed. Ooh, that's a good little thing. So there we go. Um, hello, hello, friendly player. Ooh, nope, we don't like those hats. So you have to understand what the gifts were for. Jesus Christ, who did the most, you know, healings ever, did not come to heal sickness. That wasn't, that wasn't what he was trying to do. The people who he healed still died. They got sick after that, right? There was, there was a reality to what the healings are for, and they are to validate that the person who is doing the healings is, in fact, from God. Why? Because they're delivering new scripture. They're, they're speaking on behalf of God. And Jesus, being the Messiah was validated by his miracles. The apostles were writing scripture. That scripture was validated by the fact that they were doing miracles. And so we have to understand the point of miracles is to validate that the person doing them is in fact from God. So when they deliver the word of God, you can trust that it's true. I'm my, hold on a second, I got a frog in my throat again. One sec. Thank you very much. I appreciate you watching my back there, Nathaniel. Yes, so no, I'm glad actually I was muted because I pretty much choked on my coffee there. We did. We had we had Costi Hin at our church, not Benny Hin. Costi Hin is the nephew of Benny, and as the nephew of Benny Hin, he was very much tied to the ministry and a a key player in it. And his uh, testimony is amazing. But God saved him from that heresy and brought him to saving faith in Christ, saved him out of it, and it made him a pastor. How amazing is that? How good is God? It's kind of like God saved me out of the wretched life I was in and made me an evangelist. It is amazing what our Lord can do with such flawed vessels. Such flawed vessels indeed.
Oh, speaking of which, here is a great movie that I can encourage you to watch. We just watched it with our whole family. It's fantastic. Let's see. Um, it is on Vimo, so it is for sale, but it is worth every penny. Um, it's on demand. It is seven dollars to rent and i would recommend buying it personally me myself and i i'd buy it in a heartbeat um how do i share this because it's too long i get too much on there can i just do this there we go that'll work Boop. so um yeah costian so this movie was absolutely phenomenal they did a great job it's not as if you're familiar it's the same guys who did um the gospel uh, movies, American Gospel, and they just their their quality and their presentation, and everything. We did watch it in two chunks because it it's not as I mean the American Gospel movie was very fast paced. This is not as fast paced. It's a little bit more um, nuanced, but it kind of has to be because uh, of the because of the content. Come on, bud. Over here. Come on over. A little closer. Yeah, I'm right here. Over here. Over here. Right here. Yeah, I'm over here. Ooh, I was a little closer than I like to get. But rather bring them to me than have to go to them. All right. So now we can. Stone knife. I will take it. Thank you very much. Now we'll clean up Daisy one zombie at a time. Making Daisy a, a, a prettier place. One. Oh, my camera's out of. Hold on a second. Just realized my camera's going out of focus. You gotta tell me, Nathaniel. My autofocus turned back on. My autofocus is is like bane of my existence. It loves to go out of focus for some reason. So I don't know why. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. All right. Hopefully, there we go. Um, hey, there's Nathaniel. Got my back. Thanks, buddy. All right. And we are going to hopefully. It takes so long to bury them now. There we go. One less zombie in the world. Yep. Better place. Better place. Now, you may wonder why I have a can of peaches. Because the can of peaches is actually. At least it was the most deadliest weapon in the game. You can you can knock some a knock some or knock a zombie down quick with a can of peaches. All right. Now we, by meaning we, I mean me, is going to have to go take a bathroom break. So I'm going to close this up. And we got denim shorts. Completely useless. Is there a smaller building here that I can hang out in? Apparently not. Alright, I think I'm pretty safe. So what I'll do is I'm going to park here and then I'm going to show you guys the um, trailer for this. A miracle is when the natural order is reversed. The demonstration of the power of God to authenticate the messenger that he is a man sent by God to speak on behalf of God. Reversing an illness, a sickness, or death. It is an extraordinary, powerful operation of God that attests redemptive revelation. Sign. To be 
a true apostle. Jesus said, I'm sending you out to represent me and I'm gonna give you the power to work miracles. Those gifts were given for a very specific purpose. And so those gifts have now ceased. I've been in these meetings, five, 10,000 people all speaking in tongues at the same time. The charismatic movement is constantly searching after the next experience. Are you ready? It kind of becomes like a an addiction. This is not optional. If you are not earnestly desiring spiritual gifts, especially prophecy, you are sinning. So what they've done with the gift of prophecy is they simply redefined it. COVID-19, you'll never be back. In biblical times, if you get up and you speak in God's name, and that's not God's word, you were stoned to death. I really want to apologize, sincerely apologize, for missing the prophecy about Donald Trump. The guy said it was wrong. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. If you believe these manifestations should be commonplace in the lives of every Christian, then you're going to want to believe that it's real. No one has the gift of healing today. No one has the gift of prophecy to foretell the future. No one is hearing a word from God. People are self-deceived. Every experience I have, everything that I might have labeled as the Holy Spirit in the past, I've got to test it all by the Word of God. Thank you, Nathaniel. What would I do without you, buddy? What would I do without you? Thank you as well, Eugene. So that is a cessationist movie. I would um, strongly encourage you to watch it. It is phenomenal. And they did a great job with it. Um, and I I think they're they're 100% bang on with everything they have in it. So just looking at my gear. Do I have another? I don't have anything. All right. Let's see where we're at. We are right one mile from Priya. I don't know where that is. But it's that way. Do we go to, what do you guys want to do? You want to keep going this way? Or do we want to go to Chirarara? Ooh. Uh-oh. Jim and Justin are in it. It must be great. They are. They got. They got a lot of really, really good people in it, and they they just they do a great job of breaking down the truth of Scripture, the reality of the misuse of um, the idea of gifts of uh, tongues and healings, and they 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 make a very clear and. Um, precise case for why these um, special offices, why they existed when they did, and, um, ah, so, no, no, why is my flashlight not working? Bother. Uh, thank you for exposing me to this trailer. You are most welcome. Here's the reality. When I was first saved, I thought about, um, the, the idea, am I supposed to be casting out demons? Am I supposed to be um, performing miracles? Am I supposed to be uh, doing all of these uh, things that I read about in the book of Acts and stuff like that? And if you don't um, know, and you hear some of these people who seem like 
um, they know what they're talking about, you're like, oh, wow, that's what I'm supposed to be doing. And it's not what we're supposed to be doing. The good news is what we're supposed to be doing is very clear. And hey, this is one of them. We are supposed to be sharing the gospel. That is what we are supposed to be doing. All right, guys, you get a chance. You can make your call here. Okay. We can go straight, which I don't know where that goes, but it goes that way. Or we can go to Tinra. You want to go straight or to Tinra? Which way? Somebody make a call. I'll let you choose. Straight or Tinra? Is my video freezing again? Man, I rebooted in everything. Oh, no. Come on, are we going to make the call? Nobody's going to call. Is anybody here? Am I the only one? Yeah, it's getting pretty jittery. Ah, crap. I wonder if I need to drop the game down. Let's see, options. Video. I'm on high. Extreme, high. I'll switch to medium. See if that helps. Maybe that helped. I, mean, I can hear my, my computer buzzing. I'm not really doing anything. Ooh. Oh, you said Tinra. I'm going the wrong way. You're like, which way you want to go? Buggy flashlight. Off to Tinder we go. Did that fix it? I think that sounds a little better. My computer's not like... It's still, it's still cooking, but it's not cooking as bad as it was. Okay, good. We'll, uh, we'll leave it at medium then. Off to Tinra we go. Off to Tinra we go. I always wonder, like, what are these lines about? Because it's not straight across the road, you know? No. Buried line? I guess I could run. I got plenty of water and food. I wonder what this word says. Any ideas there, uh, Eugene? What does H3 mean? No idea. Oh, it was only a mile. It can't be that far. direction we're going. I think we're going south, but I'm not positive. The guy's getting wore out. I thought I got this uh, flashlight. Looks like we lost Eugene. Couldn't tell us what three blah 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 means. not a lion, it's a tree. So my game plan is to stream in the morning and then develop chapter verse in the afternoon. That's my game plan. We'll see if that plays out. I don't think my brain works very well when I get into the development mood and then I try to get into this. I think my brain kind of goes blip. So... I want to get a um, consistent. Um, uh oh, I'm getting cold. Oh, bother. Do I got matches still? Yeah, I got matches. Let's get a fire going. I don't want to end up. Um, let's see here. 
Uh, let me think. Reserve emergency. Oh, there you go. Emergency. I need. Let's see if I can. My guy is cold. That's not good. Okay. I need to find where some little trees. So I can make a fire. I'll drop it right here. Alright. Grab that. Let's see here. Stash. My current church identifies as a full gospel church. Practices casting out demons, faith healings, believes modern day prophets, distrust science, supports Putin's war against Ukraine. Maybe you should have omitted the latter two. I think you need to find a new church, dude. Just saying. Um, I think we've had these conversations before, though, too. Combined. I could do a torch. I think a torch will keep me warm. If I'm not incorrect. We'll try that. Let's see if it does. Swap that out. Alright. Let's see if that works. I think holding a torch will actually work. Out. Put it back in. Put that away. There we go. Um, dude, you are right. I have been pondering what happens at the church for months. Some practices seem embarrassing to me. That means you're... You're listening to scripture, you're being thoughtful of the word of God, and that's the prompting of the Holy Spirit, man. Get out of there. Get out of there. Um, hey, it does work. Woohoo! So, there, there's, there's two options for you. One is if you're in the church leadership, then you should try to correct the trajectory of your church. If you're not in church leadership, then you have no authority to try to fix things in that church. You need to find a church. You're not in a church. You're in a heretical church. Sorry, dude. So the good news is you're you're hearing truth and you're understanding that and that shows the working of the Holy Spirit. That's good, Eugene. The bad part is you're stuck in you're not stuck you're currently in a place you ought not to be but that's part of them being you know maturing as Christians we we have to like I was listening to Andy Stanley when I was first saved I thought Todd White was super cool I thought that um what was his name oh and I can't remember there was another guy I thought was amazing, and he ended up crashing and burning. And that's what the, that's what you'll notice is if if you watch, you're gonna see um, you're gonna see things play out that are going to make it very clear where um, where these churches actually land biblically. Nah, it's okay, Nathaniel. I got no idea where I'm going. I'm just following this road. I'm hoping we'll run into somebody, good Lord willing. But, so I'm actually going to take a second, and I want to grab a shot of this. So, Eugene, what I would recommend is um, watch watch the Sensationist movie, and let that be a um, sort of an encouragement to you that, um, how come I can't get green shot working? Um, let's see. All right, there we go. Did that, did that work? That worked. Okay. Um, let that be an encouragement to you. Here, here's the link right here. And 
since we're in a good spot, we're going to take a second here and pray for uh, Eugene. Heavenly Father, I am grateful for your, um, your work in all of us, bringing us from error into truth. And you do it um, so kindly so thoughtfully for each of us we're we're all maturing at, at different uh paces and in different places in our in our walk with you and yet um you are at work in all of your children uh bringing them to be more like your son uh, and less like our wretched selves and part of that is taking us from from error and and we have so much lord that that we need to unlearn and yet uh, we have the helper the holy spirit he is active uh, in us, and we are grateful for that. And I pray for Eugene that you would um, continue to bless him with understanding and uh, maturity in his faith and in understanding your scripture and applying it to every aspect of his life. And please either A, um, correct this church, convict everyone there uh, that what they're doing is not biblically sound, or B, help him find a biblically sound church. And I know that is that is such a hard thing to do. But I know, Father, that you are, uh, you are always showing us how you are able to do the impossible. So I pray that for you, Gene. And I ask this all in Jesus Christ's name, my King and Savior. Amen. Did I get turned around? Am I going backwards? Did I turn my character around while I was praying? You are most welcome. Anytime. I have no idea where we are. It said one mile. I feel like we've gone one mile. Or it was one kilometer. Like, this is getting... I think we ran back down to where we're... I think I got turned around when I was praying. Yeah. I'm feeling dumb. I don't know. We'll see what happens. If we end up back at that turn, it's like, okay, Lord. Did I turn? Did I? Was I hitting my controller while I was praying or something? Got myself my character turn around. Is that? This is. I don't know. We'll figure it out sooner or later. We're gonna run into something sooner or later. Hopefully, it's not a bear. I haven't heard any wolves or anything, which is good. Oh, my character's warm. That's a plus. Actually, my question concerning anti-intellectualism at churches was inspired by my experience at the Full Gospel Church. I see heavy emphasis on personal experience, emotions, and feelings there. Lack of intellectual approach to the faith. I understand now what you're asking, and you're right. This is not about experience. This is about wisdom and knowledge, and it is not a degradation of the mind for the point of the heart. It's heart and mind together, properly aligned to God's word. And you can tell when it's going south because they, um, they're pointing to experiences as being more important than uh, God's word. And so Eugene, sorry buddy. No, actually, I'm not sorry. Because I think um, what you're coming to realize is a good thing, and you want to uh, you you want to get out of there. So yeah, so praise God for that. Where in tarnations are we? I don't think I've run this long in uh, Daisy and not encountered at least something. Hey, uh, that's a different Bible. You're right. You're right. This is. Uh, this is my Bible, um, my HCSB Bible that I'm very thankful for. I actually donated my um, evidence Bible that Ray Comfort's ministry, Living Water, produces to... Um, I think we got turned around, guys. I donated it to our church to somebody else just because the text in it is way too small for me to read. So I think we got, I think we got turned around. A 
I'll hold my breath here. We'll see what happens. <laughs> Guess what, guys? Guess what? Yeah, yeah. Epic fail. Epic fail. <laughs> Epic fail. I guess we're going this way now. Oh, that was funny. That was really funny. Yeah, face bomb for sure. Oh, man. Oh, you know what? I know where I'm at now. That's so funny. I know where this is. I did not realize I was so close to, uh, to this point. All right. Ooh, hello. That's Andy. Well, we're gonna grab that. And... Cause that, we can repair these. Here we go. Uh, God said no. Yeah. He does work like that. So hopefully there's a divine appointment waiting for us here. Hope, hope. Good Lord willing. But, oop, I hear a chicken. Um, there is also the reality that part of our ministry is also being available to answer questions and be thoughtful around uh, different aspects like the questions that Eugene was asking and stuff like that. So if, if the purpose of running around the woods was so that I could um, have my focus completely on uh, Eugene's questions, then mission accomplished. Now, can I fix anything else with this? No. How about this? No. How about this? No. I don't need my hat worm. No. Um, this? No. This? No. Looks like all you can fix with that is, I think you can sew yourself up too, though. I think there is that too. But we'll stick that right there. And we'll grab this short stick and we'll grab our knife and we'll combine it and we'll make a bolt. Almost daylight. That's good. Uh, let's see here. Take that. And seven. Let's see here. Have you heard of Paula White? She is widely known in the U.S. I am not super familiar with Paula White. Um... She sounds familiar, but I'm not sure why. So, um, but if you're if you're thinking about biblical teaching, and it's a woman's name associated, be very skeptical. There's there's a reason why Paul said, "I do not permit a woman to teach in church or to even speak in church." So, something to be thoughtful of. Yeah, I know where we are now. Uh, let's see here. Normally there's a lot more zombies here. Last time I was here. Alright, so we've got... Combi! Combi Wobo! I know that's a place to go to. So we're going to head to Combi Wobo after we check out these buildings. Let's see. Usually there's something in here. Come on, man. Man. I've been chipped. Hey, there's Stetson. Everything going good for you. Yeah, that was nice of him to follow up. Missed my brother. Man, nothing. Uh, there I met a couple of people. There where I'm... Yes, I've met people here as well. This is a spawn location. And a good place to... Um, be thoughtful about it. But I think we want to go to Kami Wobo. So we'll head that way and see if we can run into anybody. Let's see, what's that? It's another battery. I won't say no, just in case. Always helpful to have a battery. Ooh, what's that? 22. If I, I got a 22 magazine, if I get a Mark II, I'll be happy. That'll be nice. Although I really like 
the um, crossbow. Crossbow is pretty effective, but I like the Mark II as well. Um, it definitely is a effective uh, thing. So I got 22 rounds, and I've got a magazine. So we'll see what happens. We're going to end up um, taking that guy out just because that way we can make things a little safer for everybody. So we'll pull this out away. Grab this out. Let's see here. Uh, she was senior pastor. Uh, eh. As soon as you say senior pastor, yep, that's wrong. Uh, at a non-denominational church in Florida, well known as a proponent of, yeah, she sounds all bad, all bad. Yep, nothing good about anything you just said there, dude. Nothing at all. I shouldn't have done that in the road. Can't bury him. That's too bad. Oh, he had food, though. A little brisket spread. Like me some brisket spread. All right, we're going to put that away. And we're going to eat a little bit more. Why do I got anarchist on my boots? What? Oh, boy. Okay, Um. let's see here. We're going to eat the rest of that meat because that's going to go bad. Man, it's got like big value to it. Kami Wobo, here we come. We're in good shape to be able to spend some time. We got food, we got water. We can actually talk to somebody. We're not sick, so this is a opportune uh, environment for meeting somebody and sharing the gospel with them. And this is a pretty pretty common thoroughfare so and this server was this was the server that was packed right pretty sure it was packed so hopefully we will bump into somebody so why are you asking Eugene about um, that heretical preacher now as soon as you see um, pastor and a female there's a great um, quote from John MacArthur where they're like, so why can't a woman uh, be um, a pastor? And he says, easy, because she can't be the husband of one wife. I thought that was awesome. Guys, there's a whole bunch of nothing out here. Try to pick up the pace a little bit. Get my morning. My, gonna get my morning steps in. <laughs> oh man! I was hoping if I came on earlier, like that would be a good opportunity to to run into some people on the other side of the pond. But so far, not so much. But we should be coming up on a city. Kami Wobo, pretty soon. And that will be a good opportunity to um, say hello. Oh. Oop, what is it? Another hoe! Oh man. Hoes are so handy. I haven't actually seen one like stuck in the street like that. Man, that's a lot of stakes still left in that thing. So, badly damaged. Oh man, they're so handy. Um, I'm asking because I'm a bit worried. You ought to be. That is female and pastor. Those are two words that don't do, go together. Kind of like military intelligence. Kind of like um, jumbo shrimp. That, that doesn't work. But uh, but the reality is um, there's no such thing as a female pastor. So you should be worried. Run away! <clears throat> well, just... I mean, if it, it, if it's... It, I'm assuming this is something that's connected to your church. Like, are they endorsing her or something like that? What's the... What's the relationship to why you're asking?
I would like to find some epoxy so I can fix up my crossbow a little bit. That thing has served me well, man. Oh, Kami Wobo. I didn't look at the numbers. Did you guys see how far away I was? Because this is feeling like a long trip. I wish we could do signs. Oh, I'd love to be able to do a gospel sign right there. That'd be awesome. Someday. Someday. It's a long run, man. Kami Wobo or bust. I haven't looked at the map <coughs> for um, Livonia so in a while. I do remember Kami Wobo being important. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Kami Wobo? I'm not on Livonia. I'm on Cherno. This is Cherno, isn't it, uh, Nathaniel? I'm on Cherno. I thought I was on Livonia. That's why I recognize that place. Yeah. Yep. Now I don't know where I am. I have no clue. Come on, man. You were like, I met people there at that spot. How should we relate to Christian revivals such as Azusa revival? Yeah, those, all those revivals are demonic. How should we relate to them? Stay away from them. Have nothing to do with them. Don't promote them. Don't, um, don't have nothing to do with them. God is at work through the proclamation of the gospel and through local churches, through one-on-one -on -one discipleship. This whole idea is completely wrong. So that's how we should relate to them. And by the way, the Azuzu, Azusa revival is covered by that cessationist uh, movie. So I would encourage you to um, check it out. Uh, I just remember the area. I don't know the maps. Yeah, I've been on, now. Now I'm like, come Wobo. I'm like, okay, I'm on Cherno. I got my got my wires crossed there. Yeah, I'm over here. Come on over. We'll take care of you too. I am a uh, equal opportunity zombie. Uh, That was, that was a little close. That was a little high into the right. <laughs> uh, and how should we view the charismatic movement? That's that's what I'm saying. It's it's just that it's it's a uh, movement that is not biblical. Now, are there Christians in charismatic churches? Totally. But they're there despite the movement, not not because of it. And normally what will happen is the same thing is happening to you. You start asking questions like, this doesn't smell right. The Holy Spirit will be at work in true believers and convict them that what they're, what they're in is not right. And that's exactly why you're having this conversation with me, uh, Eugene, and why you're saying the things you're saying. This is a reality that... Um, you know, believers will be exposed to the truth, and through that exposure, uh, they will realize that what they're in is wrong, and they will get out of it. And that's a good thing. That's that's why I never worry about someone who's saved. My my concern is always for unbelievers, and. Um, their eternal destiny. Because I, I know when somebody is saved, they're indwelt by the same Holy Spirit that indwells me. And they are guided by the same Holy Spirit that guides me. And their eternal destiny is sealed by the same Holy Spirit. 
and they have the word of God that they will be given, um, you know, the desires to uh, read and understand more. And through his work, uh, being the Holy Spirit, they will um, uh, be saved. Not saved. They will be sanctified. Excuse me. They're already saved. They'll be sanctified. Okay, very glad for a sewing kit. That's wonderful. Appreciate that, Lord. Put it away right now. Yeah. Okay. There are things that bring glory to God. And there are things that take glory away. And I think you need some new boots. New boots. They're worn. They're looking good. Ah, I don't like the anarchy thing. That's a bit much. But they're good boots. I should have swapped out with those other ones, huh? Oh, well. You got to do with what you got in the environment you got. You know what I'm saying? It's funny. I so know what stuff is before I even get there. So, you know what? I'm going to grab that and drop it in the road for Sandy. Are you thinking I need some new boots because you don't like the anarchist ones? Is that what you're saying? Um, oh, I know why I needed that for. Grab that. Oh, why my my pants aren't fixed yet? Some rags. All right. That bone knife is holding up, man. All right, we'll take those in hand and. More hand wrappings. I wish I could find some leather gloves. Yeah, you don't like I don't like the anarchist thing either, I'll be honest. It's not it's anarchy, it's not the other thing. If it was a different symbol, I'd be a lot more cautious, you know what I'm saying? Alright. Um not really any place but those. Put that here and grab my warm ones, put that there, and I want to fix my paints. Fine. Sounds like we got another. Very interesting thoughts, Peter. What you are saying regarding revivals, modern day prophecies, charismatic movement has no place in my current church. I decided to take a pause from it weeks ago. Okay, so you've flat out not been going. Yeah, and that <clears throat> that's that's very telltale. And the thing about it is, as we are in the world. And being subjected to um, bad theology, bad teaching, it impacts us. It's one of the reasons why you need to read the Word of God every single day without fail. Because it cuts through the false um, teaching, the, the foolishness that the world promotes. It cuts through that. And it brings you... Brings you back into your right mind. So that would be one of the things I'd ask you, Eugene. Are you reading your Bible every single day without fail? Hello, hello, friendly player. Ah, see, now we've, we've found a problem, Eugene. So here's what I would encourage you to do. Get off the channel right now. Find your Bible Open up to the book of John and start reading. John 1.1, 1, 1, in the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. Get in your Bible, brother. Get out of here. You don't need to be, I've given you what I can give you. This is where you need to be. Go read your Bible, read a chapter. Come on back, okay? 
You need to do that. That should be the first thing you do every single day. Read your Bible without fail. I know that watching Christian YouTube channels is... No, it's not. It's not. You're exactly right. Uh, well, there is grace for you. It's a habit we got to learn. Take small steps. Amen to get into word. Yeah. So it's... <clears throat> you're exactly right. But the reality is... <clears throat> and, I, and I think about this often. When you look at the battle that Jesus had with Satan in the 40 days in the wilderness, he went toe-to-toe -to -toe with the most evil entity that exists. How did he beat him? The Word of God. He elevated the Word of God above even food. He said, man does not live by food alone, but every word that comes from the mouth of God. Well, how often do you need food? You need it every day, right? That's how you stay healthy. But he elevated the word of God above our daily food. Man does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of God. So get in the word of God. So get out of here, Eugene. You've got a Bible, right? you got a Bible, right? I'm hoping you're going to say yes, you do. Hmm. Nathaniel, do you have the um, the Bible um, dot com link for the plan that we're on? Eugene could uh, join us for that as well. Uh, banishing Eugene out there. What now? Not banishing you, dude. Uh, we do have an illustration of the armor of God. It's vital not to be disarmed. Well, read that out and figure it. Uh, there you go. There you go. Thank you very much. I, how did you know that was in there, man? Well done. Uh, just joking. No, I'm not banishing you. I'm trying to make sure that you're going to be spiritually healthy. And if you starve your spirit without the word of God, you're going to find out very quickly how... Um, detrimental it's going to be for your discernment and what we're going to do now is go over here guy over there but i'm going to kind of go right here and we're going to switch out i'm going to go and use the facilities again but since um eugene was out for the trailer i'm going to play it again just for him and here we go A miracle is when the natural order is reversed. The demonstration of the power of God to authenticate the messenger that he is a man sent by God to speak on behalf of God. Reversing an illness, a sickness, or death. It is an extraordinary, powerful operation of God that attests redemptive revelation. Sign. To be a true apostle, Jesus said, I'm sending you out to represent me, and I'm going to give you the power to work miracles. Those gifts were given for a very specific purpose, and so those gifts have now ceased. I've been in these meetings, five, 10,000 people all speaking in tongues at the same time. The charismatic movement is constantly searching after the next experience. Are you ready? It kind of becomes like a, an addiction. This is not optional. If you are not earnestly desiring spiritual gifts, especially prophecy, you are sinning. So what they've done with the gift of prophecy, have they simply redefined it? COVID-19, you'll never be back. In biblical times, if you get up and you speak in God's name, and that's not God's word, you were stoned to death. I really want to apologize, sincerely apologize, for missing the prophecy about Donald Trump. 
The guy said it was wrong. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. If you believe these manifestations should be commonplace in the lives of every Christian, then you're going to want to believe that it's real. No one has the gift of healing today. No one has the gift of prophecy to foretell the future. No one is hearing a word from God. People are self-deceived. Every experience I have, everything that I might have labeled as the Holy Spirit in the past, I've got to test it all by the Word of God. Amen. <clears throat> so that is the movie Sensationist. We watched it as a family uh, just uh, yesterday, and it was phenomenal. Highly, highly recommend it. So... Um, Let's see here, yep. Yep, definitely epic. All right, we are coming up on Comey. Let's see here. We are almost to Comey Wobo. I wish I could find some epoxy. Should be some Comey, ooh, that's not a bad thing. Yeah, I should make some room for that. Uh, successfully updated command plan. Thank you, Andy, I really appreciate that. You are the man, the myth, the legend, dude. All right, how do I get that saw? I want the saw. Space of the saw take up. It takes up a lot of space. Ugh. That's a lot of space. Uh, I think we'll just leave it. I don't think we can. Not in this room. Although I suppose I could put it out in the road for somebody. Okay, we are starting to get a little low on the aqua, but uh, it should be there, so. Appreciate it, Andy, very much. Now, this is not really a good look for me. <laughs> I look like a big goofball. Although I did, um, <coughs> I did do this. No, I can't even, I can't use a bone knife for that? Let's, let's try it with this. Oh, yeah. I wish I could show that, like. That's how you shave, people. That's how you shave. Oh, yeah. There we go. Now I'm nice and clean shaven. Now I look like a newbie. I like the idea of shave with like this big sickle. Cracks me up. All right, what do we got here? Big bottle of nothing. Oh, I don't want to get wet. Come on. I don't know if running through the trees helps you not get wet or not. Works in the real world. Uh, we should be coming up on a train yard if I'm not incorrect. So Andy will laugh at me. I've lost my ability to do this for long periods of time and not get uh, fatigued. I remember I was doing this for eight hours a day. Now I get like two hours in and I'm like, ugh. Kind of like I need to wear out. I need to build up my uh, tolerance again. Well, that's bad. Okay. We are both getting old. Shut up, man. I do not want to get sick. Oh, man.
Now, if I remember correctly, that is a choke point. That people use to shoot new players. Nope. Nope, it's not. It's not there anymore. Okay, good. I, I can get inside that building right there. Oh. Feels like it's stopping. shouldn't be wet. Yeah, damn. Okay. The good news is there's a water spigot here. If I remember correctly. Getting old. You're killing me, man. Now, this tends to be a pretty good place to meet people because it's a watering hole. Everybody needs to go to the water. So, I wouldn't mind finding some jeans. That way I can get rid of my, what's that, shirt. Oh, there we go. Oh. There's also a police station here, so people tend to be going, hey! Hey, there's a man. We were just talking about you. Uh, <clears throat> we were talking about the book of John. And somebody brought up that you have some very faithful teaching uh, to the book of John. So welcome, Epitome. Do me a favor, uh, Andy. Would you drop a shout out to my faithful brother here? Hey, friendly player. Friendly player. How's it going? Friendly player. Hello, hello. up here that's not a good sign thank you very much Andy appreciate your giving a shout out hello friendly player how's it going hello can you hear me how's it going friendly player Hi. how's it going Hi. My name is. Someone in the hub. Hi. My name is. Someone in the building. There's somebody on the building. Okay. My name is. No, I killed him. He tries to kill me. Oh no, that's terrible. Um, do you need food? I have food, and uh, I know there's water right here. Would you need some food? No, I'm good. You're good. Okay. Do you need any supplies or anything? No, no. Okay. My name is Peter. I'm the Missionary Gamer. I live stream on Twitch. It's very nice to meet you. Yeah, hi. I'm, I'm new to the game. I just look around. Yeah, this is, um, this is a very challenging game, especially for new players, for sure. So uh, I'm going to... I found a YouTuber here that makes nice tutorials. Yes, I, I actually... Yeah, I stream on YouTube as well. You can find me at uh, on YouTube, Missionary Gamer. And I don't make tutorials, but I do uh, do have a lot of videos on uh, YouTube. Okay, um, maybe I look around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You've got a you've got a hatchet. That's good. Do you know how to make a fire? Because your character is cold. Um, I I think uh, I must find some sticks and. French, yeah, tell you what, if you come and chop this tree right here, that'll give you some firewood, and I have some matches, and we can make a fire and warm your character up. Oh. That's bark. You don't want the bark. You want the uh, you want to chop it. So bark's one option. Oh, That's it's, good. Oh, it's a rotten apple. <laughs> yeah. I found so. it was a tomato. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. So we'll chop that, and then we'll start a fire. And I'll show you how to build that. Oh. So, excellent. Good job. Okay. So now, if you um, take the uh, firewood, and I'll take the long stick. Yeah. 
And then we can come over here where the, where the water is. And what you can do is put the stick on the ground. Just drop it. Uh -huh. And then you can combine that with the bark. So pick up this bark and hit combine. Mm -hmm. And with that bark, it'll say craft a fireplace. Oh. Yeah. Okay, once you craft the fireplace, then we can, good, perfect. I'll add this, uh, oh. if you go get some more of that wood, I have some matches and I will light uh, the fire. There you go. Yeah, you can just attach it to the fireplace or to the fire uh, campfire. There you go. Oh. Oh. Now, if you stand, I'll go get some more. You stand there because your character is cold and you can get warm. Okay. And I'll get some more uh, firewood here. Uh, there we go. Perfect. So my name is Peter and I'm in, uh, I'm in the U.S. Oh. Would it be okay if I asked your uh, first name? Um, my name is Nakisa. Nakisa? I'm from Germany. Germany. Nakisa, very, yeah. Very nice to meet you. Um, how do you spell it? Because my, my name is Peter, and I can just type it in the chat like that. But um, you said your name was, does it start with an N? Yeah, an N-A-G-I-S-A. A I. Like that. English is hard. Nagasa. <laughs> no, you did good. Yes. Perfect. Yeah, that's very, very good. So, okay. yeah. I bet, um, so I'm live streaming right now, and one of the people I have in the in the chat says, uh, I bet he speaks Turkish. Do you speak Turkish, Nagasa? No, no. I, I don't speak Turkish. No Turkish. I can't speak German. Okay, German. There we go. Um... Well, we live stream on Twitch, so if you ever go to twitch.tv slash missionarygamer, you can find our channel there. And we like to ask people questions in the game. So are you okay if I uh, if I ask you some questions while you get warm? And by the way, let me give you some food. Yeah. Here's some food for you. Go ahead and eat that. That's um, I have an apple. Yeah, you need to eat more than that, though. You need to eat a lot of food. This game of apples are good. Oh, crap, and... Crap. Yeah, crackers are good. And there's some um, liver pate. I'm not a big fan of liver pate. It tastes like uh, tastes like chicken. But there you go. So here's some liver pate right here if you grab this. There you go. Oh, okay. I have a question. Is this a good idea to eat the uh, human flesh? Uh, no. There, no. No, 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 no. That's very bad. <laughs> okay, no. no. <laughs> You should have been able to figure that one out on your own, buddy. Come on now. <laughs> like, that's that's easy to figure out. Like, that's a bad idea. No, it's not. No, it's not. You don't eat people. Rule number rule number one, don't eat people. The fact that I have to explain that to you, I'm a little concerned. But uh, hopefully... Uh, it's, it's a survival game, man. Uh, yeah, you don't you don't eat people. Even if you got to survive. That's that's not right. So, um... I have I have some questions. Is it okay if I ask you some questions while we sit and uh, get yeah, warm? That's okay. All right. So first yeah, question yeah. is, what do you think happens when we die? Not not in the game, but actually in in real life. I think we're gone, and nothing happens. Nothing. Just like boom, uh, you just disappear. Yeah. That that doesn't sound very cool. That sounds terrible. <laughs> what if you just if you just poof and you disappear? What's the point? Why why exist? Like, do you think there's a god? I don't think there's a god, but okay. I think there's one thing that have created us. Okay, but so not so, a god, but maybe other species that's higher than we well what 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 created them other species <laughs> and see that's where it fails like you gotta you keep going down this road of of what created that species that species so i have a do you believe in uh science do you like science yeah science okay. is nice and 
gives me a headache. <laughs> yeah. Be too much. <laughs> so here's here's an easy one for you, right? Here's a scientific way that we can know that there is a God. If oh, yeah, hold on a sec, hold on a sec. I got him over here. Come here. No, you're going after him. Uh oh. You got him. Don't use a gun. Don't use a gun. They're very loud. It's, it's a spider. Yeah. Come on, go now. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! You cut me. Did I hit you? Yeah, you whoa, cut me. It's whoa. okay. I have a bandage. Oh, it, it's alright. I'm good. Ammo. <laughs> Did you need the ammo? <laughs> no, I'm good. So he has ammo. Oh, you know. Uh, oh, really? Okay, good to know. Right. There we go. Yeah, you want to be very careful. Whoever uh, the zombie is uh, attacking, they're the ones who should fight it. Otherwise, you can inadvertently hit somebody else like you, like you did me. But that's okay. Oh, I'm okay. okay. Good news is I had some bandage, so we're okay. Uh, but they had some uh, ammo on them, so we'll put that aside. And then we'll uh, see if we can bury them. No, they died on that, so we can't bury them. Okay. All right. So, I was going to tell you an easy way, a scientific way, that you can know that there is a God. And so, when you okay. think about, when, when you look at a building, how do you know there's a builder? Uh, because I, it's, it was built? <laughs> exactly, right? Buildings don't build themselves, right? When you look at a painting, yeah. how do you know there's a painter? Because it's not natural. Right, a, a painting doesn't paint itself. Well, you look at creation, and now you can know there's a creator. It's scientific. Oh. Pretty good, huh? All right, quick. Uh, is your character warm now? Do you have the plus? Yeah, I have the plus. All right, come on in here so we don't get wet. We're, you'll get sick if you get wet. Mm -hmm. uh, this is... Not good. Let's try going upstairs. Yeah. This, that's the player. Yeah. Yeah, we can, we can be here. Although this is gonna get. Yeah, the fly sound. I hate the fly sound. It was sound. very sad. Before, uh, the first time I fought, he has a gun. This was. Was there wow. a pink? I must kill him. But the, yeah, that's no the gun. way. He's a fresh born like me. Yeah, that's the way a lot of people play the game, which is unfortunate. Let's get out of here so we're not by the. Um, by the people yeah. who are all toast over there. We'll go over here. We're gonna turn them into a zombie if they're dead? No, no, they just they just stop to exist. They'll eventually uh, um, get. They'll they'll what do you call it? They'll run away. All right. So you've got. Did you eat that food I gave you? Mm, I. You want to eat the food? No. So take take it and put it in your hand, and then you can uh, you can um, eat it. Hold on a second. We got a fresh spawn over here. Hey, how's it going? Oh, you need some help? You got him? Uh-oh. Okay. I have a bandage for you. So after you take care of that, um, swap it out. Okay. I got him. I'll take care of him. Come over here. Come over here. Come over here. I'm, I'm talking to you. Okay, they're down. They're down. You're okay. I got him down. They had some, um, some stuff on them. Is that player okay? I took out the zombie. You're okay to come out. We're friendly players. You might want to be careful because they're they're new spawns, so they don't, they probably don't. Um, they might have gone out the back door. It's okay. They'll come out when they're ready. A lot of people don't know, um, you know, if they can trust you or whatever. So we'll let them. Um, yeah, we'll let them get some water and stuff. Upstairs. Yeah, we'll come back over here so we'll be okay. safe. So one of the things that you can do is you can, um, when your clothes are wet, I don't know if you got the wet sign, you can put the clothes in your hand, and then you can use the uh, ring method, and it will uh, get all the water out of your clothes. And that way your character won't get I sick. Don't... So it might not be wet, but mine were wet from standing in the in the rain. So you just ring them like this, and then yeah, perfect. Oh, yeah, there uh, you go. It's it shows yeah. not uh, only press mouse one. Oh, yeah. Okay. Then you ring them out. They'll be damp, but they'll eventually dry. And you can ring out um, your pants, your hat, 
and your jacket. But you can't uh, okay. you can't do anything about your shoes and stuff like that. But they'll eventually dry. Uh, but if you keep your clothes ringed out, uh, it'll help you not get sick. So there you go. Okay. Yeah. And you want to eat some food, and that's uh that, that like that apple is good. You can eat the apple. Just put it in your hand, and you can eat it. And you you left your uh your box of ammo there. You want to pick that up. Awesome. Yeah, and it looks like some more stuff. There you go. So go ahead, eat your apple. Yeah, and I don't have again. I don't need it yeah. anyway. <laughs> yeah, you can just pull the trigger and on your or put since you got no nope, put the apple back in your hand, and now you can okay. use the option just like everything else, and you can eat it. You Try just uh, I think the left mouse button. Don't work. Don't do something. Um, you, you don't have an option to eat the apple? Nope. Uh, hmm. Well, you need to eat, otherwise your character will uh, will die. So, yeah, you can open it up. Now that it's it? open. Yep, now eat it. Hey, there you go. You got it. You got it. Perfect. I can't eat this, but I can't eat an apple. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe it was a bad apple. I don't know. All right. So, we went through a scientific discussion. And now you know mm -hmm. uh, there is a god. So if you have a creation, you know there's a creator, right? That makes sense. Oh, uh, right. Just, hi. Hey, how's it hi, going? Hi, man. Friendly players. Hi. hi, hi. Nice to meet you. Uh, don't speak English. короче, hi. I am uh, Pacific. Mir, peace. Well, it's very nice to meet you. Uh, Maybe do do you uh, sprechen Sie Deutsch? This, uh, <laughs> Russian. Russian. He speaks Russian. Russian, Russian. I think he only Russian. speaks Russian. <laughs> okay. Um. Uh. Uh. Pasiva? No. Pasiva is thank you. What is uh? What is hello in Russian? I forget. Strasvutye. What is it? Strasvutye. I don't know. I I remember. I just learned it yesterday. It was not I, <laughs> I just learned Russian yesterday for hello, and it was, it was something similar. Privet, 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 privet. <laughs> excellent, excellent. <laughs> so this is this is a good place to meet people. Very good place. Okay, so now we know there's a god, but we don't know who he is or or what does that what does that mean anything more than just he created everything. That's all we can be sure of. Okay. So now here's here's the second question I have for you. Do you consider yourself to be a good person? No. No. Oh, wow. That was very, very <laughs> honest. That was, fast. that was very fast. Very fast. So may I may I ask you some questions and we can qualify and see if that's true or not. Is that okay? Okay. All right. Yeah. In your lifetime, how many lies have you told? Hundreds. <laughs> hundreds of lies. Okay. What do you call somebody who has told hundreds of lies? A liar. Exactly. So if you've told hundreds of lies, what would that make you? I, I'm a big liar. A big liar. Okay. Okay. I appreciate, I appreciate your honesty, seeing you've admitted to being a, a big liar. All right. So next question is, in your lifetime, have you ever stolen anything, even if it was small, no, no, regardless of the cost? Uh, yeah, but not okay. big. Not big. Doesn't matter. Some doesn't pennies, si some yeah, size doesn't $1 matter. $1 maybe. Yeah, S size doesn't matter. It's still oh, thieving. Yes. If it's, if you take a dollar or you take a hundred dollars, it's still it's still stealing. Um, so when you take something, that's that's being a thief. So if you've stolen things and somebody who steals things is a thief, what does that make you then? A thief? <laughs> no, it doesn't. It makes you no. a lying thief. Okay. You, you see how those things start adding together? Yeah. So I don't know what it is uh, in German, and I don't need any examples, but I'm sure there is a way for you to swear uh, using God's name in German. It's called blasphemy. I don't know if that if you know that word, but it means to take God's name and say it without the reverence it's due. Use it as a swear word. Uh, are you do you understand what I mean by blasphemy? 
Maybe. Maybe. All right, we'll skip that one because that's that's a bit more nuanced. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So so next question, and I appreciate your honesty. Jesus said, "You know it said of old that you shall not commit adultery, but I tell you, if you've ever looked at a woman with lust, you've committed adultery with her in your heart. Have you ever looked at another person with lust?" What is adultery? <laughs> Adultery is when you have a relationship, a sexual relationship with somebody that you're not married to. Um, so it's, oh. it's, yeah, it's having um, sex with somebody you're not married to. It's called adultery. Uh, yeah. And, and that's a... Uh, I never have sex. <laughs> okay, that's good. But have you ever looked... Yeah, virgin. <laughs> okay. Have you ever looked at somebody and lessed, looked at pornography on the internet, looked at inappropriate pictures... That's the same thing. Does that make sense? Yeah. What Jesus is trying to help us understand, God doesn't just see what we say with our mouth when we lie. He doesn't just see what we do with our hands when we steal. He also sees the desires of our heart. And all of those things, he is going to judge. And you were honest at the beginning, and you said you're not a good person, and here's the interesting thing is you're right. You're actually being truthful. You've just admitted, and this is not me judging you, but you've just admitted to being a lying, thieving, adulterer at heart. And that's not a good person. And the reality is that's everybody. Everybody has lied. Whoa. Everybody has stolen. Everybody, there is no one good, no, not even one. The only one who's good is God. So let's say today was the day that you died and you stand before God and he opens up the books on your whole life. Everything you've said, everything you've done, everything you've thought, the desires of your heart, is he going to find you innocent or is he going to find you guilty of breaking his law? I think guilty. You're exactly right. He definitely find you guilty, especially seeing you've already admitted to it. So then the question is, should he, as a good and righteous judge, send you to heaven and reward you? Or should he send you to hell for your breaking of the law to pay for the crimes you've done? And hell is a burning lake of fire for eternity. It's, it's very terrible. So which one should he send you to as a good and righteous judge? I think... One? Hell, yeah. Not it's, to hell, not to heaven. Those are your only two options. No, that's the only two options. You got heaven or you got hell. There's oh. no other options. Uh, no, no heaven for me? Uh, well, the reality is God says all liars will have their place in the lake of fire. And to be a liar, you only need to tell one lie. You've admitted to being a big liar. So the reality is, if God judged you today and gave you justice, he would rightfully send you to that terrible place called hell. Now, you said your name was Nagera, right? I, am I saying it right? Nagisa. Nagisa. I apologize, Nagisa. So Nagisa, <laughs> it's okay. does the reality of if God gave you justice today, does that reality, does that concern you? What? Does it make I you did think? Not a Christian. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. Does it? Does it make you think? Oh, this is really bad. I'm in danger. This is this is not good news. This is bad news, and and I need to be very thoughtful about it because I have eternity to spend somewhere. You're either going to spend it in heaven, or you're going to spend it in hell. And right now, you know for a fact that if you died right now, you'd spend it to hell. Does that worry you? Does that make you concerned? Does that make you say, oh, this is bad? Oh. Hello? What's up? Oh, hello. Uh-oh, they're in trouble. They need uh, water or something? I don't know what's going on with them. They look pretty bad. Yeah, they're just walking off. Yeah, they're not looking for help. So, so do you understand what I mean? Does that concern you? Not really. Not really. Why not? When I go, when you can go to two places, heaven or hell, 
And it's easier to get to hell. Take hell with the VIP. <laughs> but but here's the problem. I don't know. I, but here's I the problem. I don't think so. It's... Have you ever burned yourself? Have you ever burned part of your body, burned your hand or something like that? You killed yourself. Yeah, they do that. They do what? that. It's okay. They do that. That's part of that's part of the game. Don't worry about it. So, have you ever burned part of your hand or anything? Burned hot plate or something yes. like hot? Okay. Did it feel good? Not really. No, it feels terrible, right? Now, I want you to imagine. It, it burns. <laughs> yeah, right. I want you to imagine your whole body on fire all the time. That's hell. It's not a good place. I, it, it, it's it's gonna be terrible. Forever. Forever. Yep, you never get out. It's terrible. I, I just met you, yeah. Nagisa. I love you. I don't want you to go to that terrible place called hell. And here's, here's something important to understand. There's good news about how God has made a way for guilty sinners like you and me so that we don't have to go to hell. Have you heard of somebody named Jesus Christ? Yeah, of course. Okay, what do you what do you know about him? He's the, he's the big guy of the Christentum. I don't know the English word. Christian, yep, Christianity. Yeah. Christian. Ah, it's only yes. Christian. Okay. Yeah, I'm a Christian. And yeah. He's a he's a big Christian of the. History. He's the hero. He's the Messiah. Messiah means savior. Two thousand years ago. God, knowing that you and I cannot pay for our sins, he sent his yeah. son, Jesus Christ, to be born as a virgin. It was a miraculous birth. He lived a perfect life. He never sinned, not even once. He never lied. He never stole. He never looked with lust. He never blasphemed. He did everything perfect. And then he went okay. to something called the cross. Do you know what that is? Yeah, the big cross. Yeah, the cross. They put him there because he claimed to be God. And that's a blasphemy oh. that they kill you for. But there's an exception. And we'll talk about that in a moment. While he was on the cross, God the Father shows up and he poured out his wrath on Jesus Christ. Jesus took all the wrath of God for our sins. And then right before he died, he said, it is finished. What he was saying is all the debt is paid. All the eternities of eternities of eternities that we would have to be in hell to pay for our sins, he paid all at once on the cross. But then he died and he was buried in a tomb for three days. But have you heard what happened on the third day? Reincarnation? Yes, he, 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 he came back from the dead. It wasn't reincarnation. He was resurrected. He resurrected himself. Oh. He came back from the dead. He did this himself. He proved that he was who he said he was, God himself, and that he could do what he said he did when he said it is finished. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Gospel means good news. And that's what I just shared with you. The good news. When Jesus was resurrected, he was seen by his disciples. He was seen by over 500 eyewitnesses over the course of 40 days. And then he ascended into heaven, and right now he is seated at the Father's right hand. And he loves you enough to want you to hear this good news. He loves you so much that he made sure me, a Christian, would be in this game so you, all the way in Germany, could hear this good news, this gospel about how you can be saved from the wrath that you've earned. And it's a free gift. He gives it to you freely. But you have to repent. That means to forsake your sin. 
Stop your lying. Stop your stealing. Stop being thoughtful about lustful things. Turn from your sin. It's going to take you to hell. Turn to God and put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, that he is God himself, and that he has made a way for you to be forgiven. This is the good news. This is what Christians share with other people like you so you can know how you can be forgiven. Do you understand what I've explained to you? Oh, yeah. Do you have any questions about what I explained to you? Not really. It's nice. Nagisa, you have been very courteous to me. I am very thankful that you have listened, you have been honest, you have heard the good news, but here is the question that I have to ask you. Do you think what I shared with you just now, this gospel, is it the truth or do you think it's a lie? That's a hard question. It I is. It is. It's a, it's a, I don't think you will lie to me, but I don't think it's the very big truth of the life and everything. I That's your only two options, man. That's it. That's it. You're only, it's either a lie and it's the worst lie ever, or it's the truth and it's the most important truth I ever. I think it's more the truth instead of a lie. Well, I, I would tell the truth. I would encourage you because see, somebody shared this gospel with me 11 years ago, just like I'm sharing it with you. And I heard it. I thought, you know, that that's the truth. And then I read the Bible and I learned about who this God is and what he has done. And it is amazing. Jesus said, I am the truth. Think about that. He literally is the truth. Now, here's an easy question for you to answer. Do you know the, the day and the hour that you're going to die? No. No, nobody does, do they? But can, people... It can be next week. It can be next month. It, it could be, be the next, next hour. Years. Right? We don't know. Yeah. Right? 150... Yeah, 150,000 people die every single day. If you look at the news... What? Yeah, 150,000 people die every day. If you look at the news, you can see what happened. Did you hear what happened in uh, in Israel? All the people get attacked. Did you see that? No, I didn't hear from that. Oh, it's, it's, it's big in the news right now. They were at a concert. They were listening to music. They were having a good time. And then uh, the, the people came in and shot at them. And uh, over 260 people dead like that so the reality is Why? yeah it's terrible you should look on the news i don't want to get into it but it's really really bad um okay. but the reality is we are going to die and we don't know when so there is urgency about this and i want you to understand it's important today is the day of salvation because you don't know if you have tomorrow And this is the best news ever. And when you look at it and you say, okay, I know I'm a big liar. I know I've stolen. I know I've done terrible things. I'm not a good person. But wait, there is a way for me to be forgiven? And it's a gift? All I have to do is accept it? You would be a fool to reject it. You would be very wise to accept it. But that is between you and and God. And so my recommendation to you is take some time, go and find a Bible in German and read it. Yeah. Read the book of John. Learn about who this God is and what he has done for you because it is true and it's the best news ever. And you can be forgiven and you can join all the Christians who will be on a new earth, living forever in paradise, Praising God for saving us when we did not deserve it. For saving you and you don't deserve it. It's a free gift. Does that make sense? Yeah. Do you have any questions at all for me that I can answer for you? No. Okay. 
Well, my name is Peter. Like I said, I'm the Missionary Gamer. You can find me on Twitch and YouTube. And this is my job that God has given me to be able to come into games like this and be able to share the gospel with people like you. And he loves you. He wants you to know the truth. And he made sure, even though you're in Germany, that you would hear this good news because he loves you. He does not want you to go to hell. But if you reject his son, if you reject this free gift, if you stand before him on the day that you die, you have complete 100% assurance that you will be found guilty and he will send you to that terrible place called hell. But there's a free gift where you can have complete assurance that you can be forgiven. Does that make sense? Yes. Okay, so that's what I can do. I can share the gospel with you. I can answer any questions you can have, but I can also do one more thing. I can pray for you. Would it be okay if I prayed for you, uh, Nagisa? You can do it. All right. We're going to take a minute here. We have other Christians who are in the channel watching right now, Nagisa, and they are going to pray along with us for you. Heavenly Father, I am so grateful that you have uh, set up this divine appointment to be able to meet uh, Nagisa. I hope I'm saying his name right and be able to share the gospel with him. He has been very thoughtful. He's been very honest. He understands uh, this this good news, but this is, this is difficult, Lord. In fact, it is impossible for him to truly understand without your help. And so I pray, Father, you would do that miracle, that you'd bring him from death to life spiritually. You'd give him that gift of faith, that he might repent and put that faith and trust in your son and be saved from the wrath that he has earned and be able to join a multitude beyond counting for eternity praising a good and loving God for saving wretched sinners like us. I leave him in your hands, Lord, and I am grateful for this time. I pray this all in Jesus Christ's Hello. name, my King and Savior. Amen. Hello. Amen. Welcome. My name is Peter. I'm the Missionary hey. Gamer. We're live streaming on okay. Twitch right now. Do you need some food? You look like you're a brand new character. You need some food? No, I have an apple. You have an apple? Okay. If you need any supplies or anything, happy to help you. We have a... Uh, oh, you don't want to eat that, dude. That's 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 bad. That You don't want to eat that. That'll uh, that'll make your character uh, crazy. I got to throw that away. That's bad. Oh, boy. I don't think I can bury it. Can I bury it? Oh, wrong button. Nope, well, I can't bury it. I'm going to throw it in the fire. So that's bad. Um, we're going to we're gonna throw all this stuff in the fire because people are going to eat this and that's bad stuff. Ugh. Okay. Bad stuff. Yeah, I'm going to throw it in the fire. I got, we got regular food, dude. You don't have to eat the nasty stuff. This is gross. We put it in the fireplace, it'll burn it all up. Don't do it. Yeah. It's over here. Uh, just gross. Whoa, hey, 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 you don't want to eat this, dude. This is bad stuff. Bad stuff. You don't want to eat that. Burn it up. It'll make your character start laughing crazy. You're eating it. That's Don't eat it. Yeah, it's, he knows. He knows. Bad stuff. All right, we're going to go ahead and it's light this ridiculous. fire. Yeah, it's really gross. Yeah. Yeah. Don't. Yeah. yeah. No, 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 no. No, don't let him do that. If he tries to do that to you, that's bad stuff. Come on, man. Cut it out. No, 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 no. We're not playing that game. Come on. Dude, stop. Yeah, he's just being weird. Oh. No, I'll play this game. All right. Where are we going? Not with you. This is getting old. Where uh, are we going? My name is Peter. Let's I'm go. the missionary gamer. I'm here to share the gospel with people. The gospel means good news. The bad news is we've all sinned and deserve the wrath to come. But Jesus the Messiah died for our sins 
was buried, and then raised again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and right now he is seated at the Father's right hand. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. This is the best news ever about how guilty sinners like you and I can be saved from the wrath to come. Have you ever heard about Jesus Christ before? Uh, is it sad news? Uh, I must go offline. Okay, it was very nice meeting you, Nagisa. You have a blessed day. Yeah. I hope you read the book of yeah. John. Yeah, well, I, re I will find it and I will read it. I will read it with my boyfriend. Okay, what? That was... Not right. Alright, well, we're gonna play this game. Alright, hopefully you're running along with me. Alright, cool. The gospel means good news. The bad news is we have all sinned and deserve the wrath to come. But Jesus Messiah died for our sins, was buried, and then raised again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and right now is seated at the Father's right hand. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Best news ever. I hope you'll consider this gospel. It is good news, and it's a wonderful way for you to be saved from the wrath to come. Maybe he's still with me. So, the gospel means good news. The bad news is we have all sinned and deserve the wrath to come. But Jesus the Messiah died for our sins, was buried, and then raised again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and right now he is seated at the Father's right hand. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Best news ever. I hope you'll consider this good news. If you have any questions about it, let me know. That's why I'm here. All right, we're going to go ahead and let this guy have his own day. Um, yeah, take care. That was odd. That was the first time I've ever been chased that steadily for um, somebody wanting to uh, try to get me to eat human flesh. That was just gross. All right, so his name was Nagisia. Hopefully I spelled that right. Did anybody see how I spelled it in there? And then there was somebody else. We'll just say unknown player. Uh, um, uh, cannibal. Uh, yeah, Nagisa. It had a, like an I-A-S-A on it. So. so I have to admit, like that, at the ending there, what he said, like, I'm hoping he means, like, is, like you see or see people say that. All right, uh, Nagisia, reminds me of a Japanese name. Okay, yeah, so we'll go ahead and I'm gonna put on uh, this uh, trailer again while I fill this out. A miracle is when the natural order is reversed. The demonstration of the power of God to authenticate the messenger, that he is a man sent by God to speak on behalf of God, reversing an illness, a sickness, or death. It is an extraordinary, powerful operation of God that attests redemptive revelation. Sign. Be a true apostle. Jesus said, I'm sending you out to represent me, and I'm going to give you the power to work miracles. Those gifts were given for a very specific purpose, and so those gifts have now ceased. I've been in these meetings, five, 10,000 people all speaking in tongues at the same time. Fire! The charismatic movement is constantly searching after the next experience. Are you ready? It kind of becomes like a 
an addiction? This is not optional. If you are not earnestly desiring spiritual gifts, especially prophecy, you are sinning. So what they've done with the gift of prophecy is they simply redefined it. COVID-19, you'll never be back. In biblical times, if you get up and you speak in God's name, and that's not God's word, you were stoned to death. I really want to apologize, sincerely apologize, for missing the prophecy about Donald Trump. The guy said it was wrong. It's not a big deal. Not a big deal. Not a big deal. If you believe these manifestations should be commonplace in the lives of every Christian, then you're going to want to believe that it's real. No one has the gift of healing today. No one has the gift of prophecy to foretell the future. No one is hearing a word from God. People are self-deceived. Every experience I have, everything that I might have labeled as the Holy Spirit in the past, I've got to test it all by the Word of God. Thank you, Rachel. Uh, the guy you saw on screen was Kenneth Copeland, and he is full-on demonic. Um, he is very um, uh, popular in the circles of uh, heretical teaching, and I would um, stay away from him. Like if you if you ever seen him, he's he's just the guy's obviously possessed. He's completely yeah, Kenneth Copeland. He is horrifying. All right, the other one is gospel, American gospel. Let's see if we can find American gospel. So I was running away from that guy uh, at the end there. Um, did I hear him say right? Did he say, um, I'll go read it with my, my boyfriend? Is, is that like a German, like, what do you call it? Um, statement that they, he didn't mean, or did he, did he mean that? I don't know. Um, no, I wouldn't say all charismatics are demonic. Not at all. That, that doesn't make sense. Kenneth Copeland is not a charismatic. Kenneth Copeland's a psychopath. Um, the guy is is nuts. Uh, he's he's possessed. Um, if you where's a picture of him? So see these guys. This is what it's all He's about. Hearing guys. a word. Oops. And so those gifts. Hold on. See right there. No one is. This is what it's about. It's about the money. It's about the money. So they're all doing this for money and um, they're doing it because these people are foolish and they are following uh, these false prophets. And where was it? Here he is. Find so, us. That, that, this is our pastor, by the way. This is Jim Osmond. This is a pastor of uh, Kootenai Community Church. And I am grateful to call him uh, my brother. And I was actually, he just let me borrow his truck today so we could start moving our house. So he is a faithful brother and I'm grateful for him. Find it. COVID-19, you'll never be back. Just, just take a look, guys. That's not right. That's not right. So, yeah. Just kind of, like, that guy is full-on scary. Very scary. They have, they have, um, there's video of him that if you look up online, like, he talks about the devil told me to say that and stuff like that. But he... He is a false um, teacher, and um, the wrath of God that abides on that man. It seems like they paint everyone in charismatic movement as all these people. No, they don't do that. They don't do that. That the cessationist movie does a very, very good job of playing out um, the reality of why the cessationist um, is is biblically sound. And, and how this whole charismatic movement started. It's recent, guys. For basically 2,000 years, there was no such thing as uh, Pentecostalism. Uh, there was no such thing as charismatics. There was no such, this happened within the last 100 years. And they document it. They show the, um, the time, who started it, why they started it, and it's, it's straight from scripture. It talks about there will be people who will come 
and they will uh, be false teachers and they will do things that will uh, ensnare people to that um, false message. And so um, don't be surprised. So to say to say all charismatics are demonic or all charismatics are those that's not right. There there are people in the charismatic churches who will be um, saved out of them if they're saved if they're Christians. Well, I was just talking to Eugene about it. Uh, what was the date when the gifts completely uh, ended completely? It was uh, within Paul's time. The 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 those gifts ended. But realize there's still gifts. There's just not the gifts that were for validating prophets, validating apostles. Those gifts ended. I have the gift of evangelism. It's a gift. Jim Osmond has the gift and of being a pastor. There's people and and the gift of teaching. There's there the gifts are active today, just not healing in tongues. They were specific to validate the the people who were delivering the very word of God. And that's how you knew that they were delivering the word of God. And that's how you know when people aren't. When you hear somebody say they're a prophet and they deliver a prophecy and it's not true, uh, guess what? They're not a prophet. And if it was in Old Testament days, they'd be stoned to death. Now in the New Testament, they're not. we're not called to do that. We're called just to call them out. Uh, but it's something that we need to be very thoughtful of. Um, these people are charlatans and they're doing it for the money and the power and for there's only two sides guys you're either with jesus or you're with satan that's your only two options you, there's no middle ground you're either you're either with our king or you're with the forces against our king it's that simple there's no switzerland when it comes to the kingdom of god so i hope that's helpful Oh, that was a that was an awesome, awesome gospel encounter, and I'm grateful for uh, uh, Nagisa Nagasia. Uh, that ending statement he said is still bothering me. Um, but then that guy, I mean, he was falling after me. He heard the gospel. Costi uh, Hin's testimony is amazing. It's absolutely amazing. Nathaniel, would you find uh, that from the Kootenai Church YouTube channel? And paste uh, Kosti Hin's um, sessions. Uh, I think I don't think I called out his testimony directly. I think it's in the Q and A, or it's in the very first session he did. That's not a bad statement. Rags will save your life in the game. Jesus Christ will save your life for eternity. I got a little, I got a little, woo. <laughs> uh, I'm going to stop the recording there just because that will make it easier for uh, editing and I'll start one back up. Yeah, that guy is demonic. Full on demonic. Thank you, Nathaniel. So that link right there um, is for Kasi Hin's session that has his testimony in it. And it's amazing. He gives such a, a window into the movement that his father's uh, uncle, uh, Benny Han, is part of. And it's it's demonic. It's horrifying. And yet God saved Costi Han out of it. And now the man's a pastor. God is amazing. He saved me out of my wretchedness. And now I'm um, an evangelist. God is good. And he can use wretched sinners like you and I for his glory. He can do it. And it's amazing. He is a master at taking broken, worthless, only for the pit of hell people such as myself and taking us and putting us into and making us new creations in Christ and putting us into roles that bring him glory, serve the church, and spread the gospel to the world. I'm just, I'm floored by it. My wife, 
I would say she has the gifts of helps, which is service. She is serving the church right now. Right now, she's at the church um, doing finances. She does the church finances. My wife, church finances. She's a great accountant, by the way. But I know where we came from. The fact that God would use this at all, I do not deserve to empty the trash at our church. And yet, he allows me to do that. And I am, I am absolutely grateful. The job I get to do to serve our church, one of the jobs other than streaming, is I get to shut the church down. How easy is that? I just got to shut it down. So, if you would lay your hand on someone for healing and they get healed, not by your power, but by the Holy Spirit, isn't that how people got healed? No, that's not how it was. You, you go read the book of Acts. They, they were getting healed by touching pieces of cloth that the apostle had touched. They were getting healed by the shadow passing over them of uh, St. Peter. Right? This, is, this is a miraculous healing that was to validate the people who were writing scripture. How do we know that what Paul wrote is actually the word of God? Because he was validated doing it by the, um, by the work of the Holy Spirit through those miraculous gifts. Um, so the power came from Peter. No, the power was manifested in Peter. Go read Acts, man. It's amazing. The Holy Spirit is totally the one who did the work. Completely. But you have to realize he did it through Peter. If anybody is healed today, it's the Holy Spirit healing them. He allows us to participate uh, I gotta swap this. He allows us to participate in the work he does, like sharing the gospel. But it's it's not the gift of healing, and it's certainly not the gift of tongues. Uh, the tongues one is is the most blatantly abused, um, just just for nuts, you know, crazy stuff. But why is this not ringing up? But the um, the healing one is exploited for money, and that's that's what's so evident. Right out. I'm gonna need to go start a fire here in a minute because my character's gonna get dead. I found swimming to be one of the best uh, defensive moves in the game. If you ever want to get away from somebody, just start swimming because they can't attack you in the water, and eventually um, they'll give up. I don't understand why you can't wring out your hat and walk at the same time. But I recommend you go watch this Assassinist movie. They did an amazing job with it. They lay out the chronology. They lay out the hypocrisy. They lay out um, biblically. Um, they just they just knocked it out of the park. Highly recommend it. All right. We are still soaked. But, oh, my matches are going to be wet. Yep, not going to be able to light a fire. All right, we're going to have to go old school here and get a fire going. Uh, let's see. Got to get some wood. All right. I've read Acts. I'm saying people would get healed by the Holy Spirit who lives in us. I'm not saying we have the power. Well, that's then, then you're just talking about um, the way things... Grab that. Um, you're talking about the working of the Holy Spirit through prayer and through, um, you know, God's work, not the gift of healing. As long as you make that differentiation, you're in good shape. That's a lot of gardens I was making. Um, the issue is people are claiming they have, Benny Hinn claims he has the ability to heal somebody by touching them. He he has that ability. He doesn't. Alright, grab the stick. Hopefully that fire is still over there. I think 
I should be able to pick it up. No, I can't. Why can't I put a short stick on? Oh, I've already got a short stick. I don't know. I took that one off. Oh, no. No, that's not him. Okay, he was wearing that hat. So... I forgot he logged out, so. Get a fire going here. How much stuff is on there? Whoa! whoa. Um, six. Take care of you later. Some ammo. I have 19 rounds. Just drop them on the ground for right now. Take care in a minute. We gotta get ourselves healed up here. Alright. That should be on my quick fire. There we go. Alright. Now we need to get some bark. Right. That's a ruin knife. Drop that. Actually, I'll just drop that in the fire so nobody will get misunderstood about it. Drop that out. Get some more bark. Oh. Challenging day. Did that ruin it already? I think that ruined that knife that fast. Yep. Ruined. Well, that was enough for us. Why do I still got to drop a stuff on the screen there? I'll put this in there. If you put stuff in the fire, it'll burn it up. So. Put that in. Hey, how's it going? Friendly player. How's it going? Hello. All right, cool. My name is Peter. I'm the Missionary Gamer. I'm live streaming on Twitch right now, and I'm just making a fire. I have food. Do you need some food? Oh, you got a chicken. Okay, I'll have a fire going here in a sec. There you go. Let's see. We're just burning up some of the... Somebody left stuff here that wasn't good, so... We're just burning it up, too, so... There's that as well. If you see anything in there, we'll put it in the fire to burn it. You're going to want a long stick to um, cook your chicken, if you know how to do that. I do not have a long stick, but I can get you one if you want. All right. Why is that not? Is the fireplace not light? Is it burning? I don't think it lit. I think it went out. Father. All right, one second. Sorry about that. Do you have a mic? Let's see. I'll do the bark if you want to get some wood. Oh, you're going to do bark too? Okay. Why don't you go get a long stick and I can, um, I can make the, the igniter. That way you can cook your chicken. Uh, take that. Yeah. Wow! Come on, dude! Really? I thought, like, really? I was trying to be helpful, man. That's not cool. Seriously? Oh, man. You try to, like, seriously? We're gonna do one of those days. Yeah, I know. So my name is Peter. I'm the missionary gamer. I live stream on Twitch, and I'm here to share the gospel. So gospel means good news. The bad news is we've all sinned and deserve the wrath to come. But Jesus the Messiah Mission. died for our sins. Died for our sins, was buried, and then raised again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and right now he is seated at the Father's right hand. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth I and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. 
Best news ever. I hope you'll consider this good news because that's why I'm here. Jesus Christ is the way, the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through him. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Yeah, apparently. All right. I think we're going to take a minute over here and try to get our character stabilized. There it is. Oh, uh, if I dry out over here, that's not going to work. Because I'm going to have to get back in the water. Let's see if there's a crown way back. Nope, these are islands. I don't bother. Well, um... I think the uh, stab vest saved my butt. All right. Let's see. Yep, badly damaged, but it saved me. That was Harry. Hopefully, you heard the gospel. Hey, uh, Nathaniel, you still with me? Yeah, that was definitely a wow moment. All right. I think it's time to drop the gospel in there so I can say it without having to run. Oof. Gospel. Did I get it right, by the way, when I said it when I was running? Because that was like, when you're under pressure, you know what I mean? Gospel means good news. The bad news is we've all sinned and deserved the wrath to come. But Jesus the Messiah died for our sins, was buried, and then raised on the third day according to the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and right now he is seated at the Father's right hand. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Best news ever. Hopefully that person even though they're being very inappropriate, heard what I shared with them, and hopefully they'll repent and uh, put their faith and trust in Jesus Christ and be saved. Good Lord willing. He, he's used crazier things, guys. So, he has definitely used crazier things. I wish we could do gospel tracks in here. I'm looking forward to the new art coming out because that's one of the things that we will be uh, focused on is um doing new uh i can't do those thought i had a sewing kit did i use up the sewing kit i must have used it all up that's too bad all right well at least i fixed my are my boots still shot too good one right, we're good there all right we're gonna eat some steak help our character out probably tank up next time I'm by the water thing. Alright. Let's go over here and get a fire going and get our character stabilized. Alright. Um, let's see here. Are you going to the cessationist conference? No. Nope. I didn't even know there was a conference. It's cool there's a conference on. Now what I am going to be doing is I'm going to be going to, um, or I hope to be going to Ray Comfort. Oh, I didn't realize they had like, that's interesting. I don't know. Um, John MacArthur's church. Cool. I did not know that. Oh, no. It's raining. Well, bother. Um, I guess we'll go... Uh, 
not helpful. Okay, we got a fireplace in here. focus right now and get my character stabilized so please forgive me all right um let's see here uh it's three hundred dollars that's that's pretty pricey but you know the john MacArthur's uh events are amazing so definitely definitely worth being thoughtful uh justin i think you mean justin peters justin peters not peterson it's justin peters and justin peters is a faithful brother in christ and I am thankful to call him uh, my friend. So, yeah. Let's see. Here. No, it's okay. That's why I'm just offering a little correction. All right. So, grab this hand and craft fireplace. Yep. Justin Peters is um, faithful. Yeah, I do. I do. He's actually the reason why he actually went to Kootenai Community Church for a number of years and um, he recently um, had to move for family reasons. But yeah, he is um, somebody who, we would not be at the church we're at right now if it weren't for Justin Peters. And I'm, I'm grateful for his wisdom and guidance. And he has been a um, blessing to me and my family. And I'm thankful for his faithful ministries and his uh, outspoken um, clarity on the gospel and on uh, scripture and on the realities of various um, false teachers. He's, he has a discernment ministry that's very profound. And I think he does an amazing job being uh, clear and concise and and thoughtful about how he calls out these false uh, teachers in a way that is um, biblically um, sound because you got to be careful right it's it's not something you want to be um, inappropriate with because they you know we're not supposed to you know be um, be handling them in such a way that is uh, what's the right word there's a word for it. Um, sensa sensational. There we go. He's not sensational about it. The guy is very humble, brother. Very humble. So, Lucy Goosey. Yeah, there you go. I, I was thinking sensational. We should be uh, sensational about it. There we go. All right. Hey. All right. Uh oh. Hello. Friendly player. Friendly player. Hello. I just made a fire. I have some food. Hello. Hello. Friendly player. How's it going? Good. Nice to meet you. I was just getting a fire going. You need some food? Yeah. Here I have um I have a can of peaches. There you go. Do you need a an opener? There's a can of peaches for you. Whoa! What happened? You okay there? You all right? You're not good. All right. So my name is Peter. I'm the missionary gamer. I live stream on Twitch. It's very nice to meet you. You had a mic, right? Yeah, very nice to meet you too. Hey, you speak good English. Well done. Um, do you do you need a? I got a knife for you to open that can with, if that would be helpful. There you go. Yes, thank you. You're welcome. There you go. So, are you a veteran of the game, or is, are you new, or how are you doing? What? 
I said, are you new to the game, or do you know how to play it very well? Yeah, I'm new to the game. Okay, there's some, there's a soda there as well that'll help you. You can drink that. Okay. So, um, is uh, English a uh, second language for you? Huh? You speak very good English. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. You're welcome. My name is Peter. Would it be okay if I asked your first name? Okay. Hello, hello. How's it going? I'm going to have this door open in just in case we got to get out of here. There's some liquid there if you want it. Is that a fire going? My name is Peter. I'm the Missionary Gamer. We live stream on Twitch. It's Very nice to meet you. Yeah, nice, nice to, to meet you. Too. Nice to meet you too. <clears throat> Just got a fire going. Do you need some food? Uh, uh, guys, I want to respawn. Can you kill me? Uh, no. I'm not gonna do that. You can just- Oh! Okay, I'm out. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, unbelievable. Some days are harder than other days. Uh, all right, let's try going back to the... I think I'm going to try to get back to the... Tough server. What is that guy named Kane? Tell you what, man. I have a hard time too having a conversation with somebody who's dressed like a like a female character, and you're hearing a dude's voice coming out. It's 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 hard to like stay focused. It's it's very distracting. All right, let's see. Hopefully this guy's gone. Let's see here. Well, I'm gonna go and read my Bible and then try to nap. Have a great rest of your stream. Thanks, brother. God be with you too. And thank you for being here. Thanks for your prayers. Grateful for that. Um, let's see. All right. All right. What we're going to try to do, I think, is... I think we're going to try to get that fire lit. Although I don't know if it's going to work. It might not work because it's all wet. I don't know if that's an issue. Because we got to get this stuff cleaned up here. Stressful game today. I don't think we're going to be able to get that fire started easily. Man, I want to. my character's one. I think my coat is officially shot though. So it's got stuff in there but I put the wrong stuff in there. This is pristine. I got another piece of I just need a stick. That's a tree. I wish that little bit of blood spot would Go away on my screen. Oh, no, I don't 
want firewood. Nope, not firewood. I want a lot of stick. Oh! Oh, give me a stick! Thank you. Yep, I think my coat's shot, guys. Uh, that was good while well acid. Alright. We're gonna get this stuff burned up, then I think we're gonna call it. Fireplace, not a fireplace. Stop, 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 stop. I wanna. There we go. Oh, it won't even let me ignite it. Hey, Epitome's back. I'm back. Totally forgot what I was, I was looking. No worries, brother. Glad you're here. We have had a challenging day, that's for sure. Had a chance to show the gospel, though. But we had some very unruly characters. I think I am, though, going to tank my... Oh, what do we got here? We got a jacket, police jacket, badly damaged, low insulation... Ruin, bad insulation. All right, we're going to drop this, pick up that, and transfer out. All right, there we go. And let's see. Um, uh oh. Let's see. Here. It's going all right. Very busy week. Lots of of work to finish before I go on vacation. You're going on vacation? Where are you going? Somehow I put my menus away. Not quite sure I managed that. Not oh, so much for my new police jacket. <laughs> oh, my health is looking pretty bad, guys. Not good. What do we got here? Ruined. 
else my jacket's ruined all right well let's see anything good no anything good with you oh you got my i had a shot off but he was wearing a stab vest so yeah it didn't work out well it's kind of funny first time i saw that work all right that vest is ruined. Battery's good, though. All right, well, let's get these guys in the ground. Whew. This almost work, guys. I think I'm going to build a fire next time underneath that overhang. So that way we don't get it wet. Because building it over here was a mistake. Which makes sense. You can't light a fire uh, in the rain. Now, here's the question. Is can we get the stuff out of the fireplace? And short answer, yes. So, we will recover. Those are disinfected, so I'm not going to burn those. Uh... Ground. And what we're going to do. Oops. much. You're on my fireplace. Ugh. I might end up just getting toasted from the standpoint of dealing with all these zombies. Uh, wait a minute. Six, four. I was really close. I don't know how I missed. Like, that doesn't even make sense. Uh-oh. Come on, I got Weird. Huh. Okay. Guess sometimes you drop your thing when you're trying to put it in. Alright. This is work, guys. <laughs> so, what are you going to be doing in America, if it means? Okay. Um, I am going to eat the biscuit spread. Give my guy some food.
Okay, I think we're looking pretty good there. I do want to fill up my water though, that would be a good thing to do. I'm going to drop the matches on the ground, so hopefully they'll dry out. And go get some more stuff. Oh, I need some hand wraps. Pretty good camping, pretty good uh, fishing hole. I think we'll uh, maintain our uh, position here and be able to use it as a good place to be fishers of men. All right, but one of the things we're going to do is get rid of this gross stuff. Now, does this dry out? Nope, still damp. So that's my only knife. No, it's not. I still got a bone knife. So I'm going to drop this here. Pick it back up in a minute because I want to get rid of this stuff. Because this is just for us. Hello! Hello! Friendly player! Friendly player! How's it going? My name is Peter. I'm the Missionary Gamer. We live stream on Twitch. Very nice to see you. Got a fire over here. Just burning some of that gross stuff out. Uh, yeah, there you go. Need some food? I'm going to take that because I don't want to lose it. But you don't need any food, okay? Well, you're welcome to get some water. Um, I'm just going to burn this stuff up while I have a second. Because it's gross. There we go. All right. Hey, friendly. Friendly players. Nice to meet you. I have some food if you guys need it. Oh, we got a salute and everything. Here's a can of food if you need it. There you go. And I'm just trying to burn up. Somebody did a person out there and it was nice. There you go. I'm going to see about getting the rest of this stuff burned up. I get the feeling there. Not all about being on the up and up. But we'll see. Go oh, get that in there. Oh, oh, we got a zombie. Uh, watch out. Whew. Watch out, you guys don't hit each other. Oh, hey, you guys are hitting each other. Watch out. Oh, good job. Well done. Well done. Good job. Alright, let me get this taken care of. Because I want to get this gone. There we go. There we go. There we go. Alright, good deal. Oof. Yeah, good job. That was quite the fight. All right. My name is Peter, by the way. I'm the Missionary Gamer. Live stream on Twitch. And I am a follower of Jesus Christ. We use uh, games to meet people. And we talk to them about the gospel message. Have you ever heard of the, about the gospel before? Ah, okay. Well, the gospel means good news. The bad news is we've all sinned and deserve the wrath to come. But... Jesus and Messiah died for our sins, was buried, and then raised again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. 
He ascended into heaven, and right now he is seated at the Father's right hand. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The time is fulfilled. The kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. It is the good news about how God has made a way for guilty sinners like you and I to be saved through the work of his son, Jesus Christ on the cross, 2,000 years ago. Best so, news ever. Are you are you Jehovah's Witness? or? No, no, I'm not a Jehovah's Witness. I'm a Christian. I am a follower of Jesus Christ. Okay. And I share the gospel with people uh, like yourself. And Jehovah's Witnesses are not Christians. That's why they call them, Boo. obviously, Jehovah's Boo. Witnesses. But um, the reason why I'm here is to be able to talk to you guys about your eternal destiny. It's very important to understand, uh, you know, what happens after we, uh, we, what happens after we die. So if you have any questions about the Bible, that's why I'm here. Happy to talk to you about it. But yeah, definitely not a Jehovah's Witness. It is interesting that he did ask that question. That was a good question. So, uh, do you want to open up that can for you so you can eat it? If you put it down on the ground, I'll open it up for you. How's it going? Do you have any questions about the Bible? No. Okay. Happy to answer any questions if you might have them. Okay. Uh, why are you doing this? Because I love you. Daisy. My name, my name is Peter, and this yeah, this is a way to meet people from all over the world, and be able to share the gospel with them in a way that um, you know we, I might meet you on the street, but instead I can meet you in the game, and I can tell you the good news about how God has made a way for you to be forgiven, just like I was forgiven, and somebody shared this good news with me uh, 11 years ago. And now God gives me the opportunity to share it with people like yourself um, today. And I just happen to use video games rather than meeting you in the real world. Does that make sense? Okay, so I'm forgiven. No. Well, you have to do two things. You have to repent and put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ to be saved from the wrath to come. So you have to turn from your sins and put your faith and trust in him and in him alone. So here's a question. Do you consider yourself to be a good person? No. You're not a good person? I don't. I don't think anyone is uh, perfect. You're exactly right. You're exactly right. There is no one good. No, not but God. So in your lifetime, have you ever told a lie? I don't think uh, that person was being very helpful coming in here. Uh oh. Help me. Come on over. Come on over here. I'll take it. She's tough. Where's she at? You're doing good. All right. Well done. I have a bandage. Are you hurt? No, you're okay. Uh, no, thank you. Okay, you're okay. Here we go. Uh, no, Luke, I'm not on the same one. All right, Eugene says, I am back. I want to say I like you not omitting or toning down hell when sharing the gospel. Um, what is forgiveness without repentance and heaven without hell? Yes, you're exactly right. You're exactly right. It's very important for us to be um, thoughtful about telling people how bad the bad news is so they understand how good the good news is. Um, okay, still got three pieces in there. So without the reality of hell, the blessing of heaven is um, compromised. So, yeah. All right. Hello, gaming for Jesus. I like the name. How are you doing? Uh, let's see. Is this damaged? Nope, just worn. My jacket's ruined, though. All right. The good news is I got all that gross stuff burned up. That's all gone. And do you know who this is? Um, 
off the top of my head? No. I don't have a gaming for Jesus. Did you change your name recently? Okay, I'm overheating. All right, let's go get some more wood. Uh, take a wild guess. You sent me a book. Come on, man. I sent a lot of people a book. You gotta, you gotta help me out a little bit more than that. A little bit more. Did you change your name though? Uh, the question is, did you read the whole book? Sean, how you doing, Sean? Yes, and that's a very good point. Did you read the book? I sent you the book, but did you read the book? Uh-oh. Over here, over here. Come over here, I'll see if I can help. Bring him over here. Oh, good job. Well done. All right. You okay? You okay? Yeah, I'm okay. All right. Yeah. Let's see. Do they have anything on them? Nope. Zombies not bringing anything. Uh, let's see here. Uh, let's see here. Yoshi gave up. Yoshi gave me up because there's a pop quiz or did you get banned? I don't know what that means. Sorry. I'm sorry. I'm live streaming right now. So I'm talking to people on, on the live stream as well. So, okay. My name is Peter. Would it be okay if I asked your first name? Uh, no. Oh. I'm uh, Gabriel. Gabriel. That is an awesome name. Very yes. nice to meet you, Gabriel. So are you, uh, are you in uh, Germany? No. In Sweden. Sweden! That is amazing. That is amazing. I think you're the first person I've talked to from Sweden. So it's very nice to meet you. Where are you from? I am in the U.S. Okay, which state? Idaho. Okay. Yeah. It's very nice to meet you, Gabriel. That? Very nice to meet you too. Oh no, there's more stuff over here. Bother. It's gross. You're not eating that, are you? I hope not, Gabriel. That will make you sick. Oh. That's bad stuff. I just burned it in the fire. So, what server are you on? I am on the. Uh, let's see. I'm on the 1354 server. 1354. So Gabriel, do you uh, do you have any um, religious background? Uh, yeah, I'm a Jew. You're Jewish. That is amazing. I'm Jewish. Yeah. Nice, nice. So are you uh, are you a practicing uh, uh, Jew or are you just Jewish by birth? Uh, no, it's. Uh... I, well, I got uh, my uh, dick uh, circumcised. <laughs> okay. Well, we ch we do have a family friendly stream here, so thank you for <laughs> thank you for keeping it uh, family friendly. I appreciate that. So, have you heard of? Uh, have okay. You... Sorry. Oh, sorry. I I appreciate that. Thank you very much. So, have you heard of uh, Yeshua? I think that's how you say it in um in um Hebrew. Well, oh, no, no, no. Come on now, dude. Don't do that. That's not nice. That's not nice at all. Come on, Gabriel. Okay. Why would you do that? Sorry. That's not nice. So, Gabriel, I shared with you uh, a little bit about the gospel er earlier. Are you familiar with uh, Yeshua? Or his name is Jesus, the uh, Messiah? No. So. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know him. You know him. 
So, so what do you know about? Yeah, I know him. What do you know? Yeah, he's he's here between us. No, uh, among us. I mean. Well, Isn't I it? mean, no, no. He's in heaven. He died right for now. our sins. He did die for our sins. You're exactly right. Yeah. What is what does that mean though? Legally, what do you think that means? He died for our sins. Uh, I don't know. You don't know. Okay. So, you know, have you ever been to court or do you know how how court works? Where you where you've done something wrong? Okay, you're not you're not being very nice, Gabriel. I tried, man. You're not being nice. All right. Well, I hope you have a blessed day, Gabriel. God be with you. Okay. Well, this is what happens when you share the name of Jesus Christ with people. The reality is, um, it definitely brings uh, out either A, repentance and faith in Christ, or B, it brings out this. So, as we look at uh, people who are um, faced, brought face to face with an understanding of who Jesus Christ is, you can see the results. Zombies can't swim. Remember the words I spoke to you. No servant is greater than his master. If they persecuted me, they will persecute you. If they if they obeyed my teaching, they would obey yours. But this is just a game. It is just a game, but your eternal destiny is very real. And I care about you enough to share that Jesus the Messiah died for your sins, was buried, and then resurrected on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and right now he is seated at the Father's right hand. Jesus said, I am the way, and the truth, and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The time okay, is fulfilled. Okay, the I'm kingdom sorry. of God is at hand. You must repent and believe in the gospel. And just because we're in a video game... Okay, I'm sorry. I'm doesn't, sorry. Doesn't mean that God doesn't see what we do. Okay, if you're... If you are if you abuse somebody in a game... Wait, okay, wait, wait. Your heart. I have a question. I What's your question? question? Go ahead, ask. What's your question? Um, so, if I kill someone in this game, will I go to will I go to hell? Or? No, I don't think so. I think the game is um, part of the mechanics. But the question is, Jesus said, "You know, it said of old that you shouldn't commit murder." But I tell you, if you've called your brother a fool, if you have anger in your heart and you kill them because you have anger in your heart, that's the same as murder. Just like if you look at a woman with lust, that's the same as committing adultery. God looks at what you say with your mouth, what you do with your hands, and the desires of your heart. So if you desire revenge, if you desire to commit murder in your heart, then yeah, it's seen the same as murder. God sees what we say, what we do with our hands by stealing, and what we, what we have as a desire in our heart. You will be judged for all three of them. That makes sense. Uh, I I don't get it. So if I kill you now, it's a sin. It depends. Or? Why are you killing my character? What's your reason? I have not done anything to you. In fact, I've helped you. So why would you want to kill my character? What's your I reason? I don't know. I know it's, it's kind because of the point of no, the game. No, it's you know, because it's not know, the point of the game. 90, the game is a survival 90, game. No, 90% uh, out of times you meet someone in this game, you kill them. Well, you that's not me. Friends with them. I have never killed anybody in this game, and I've played it for years. Never killed anybody, ever. Why? Because I'm here to share the gospel with people. I care about your eternal destiny. And you didn't start getting mad okay, until I started you, talking you to you about to the name of Jesus Christ. Have you this game seriously? I do play this game seriously. I'm alive right now. Okay, so I play it very, very seriously. But I'm here not because of the game. 
I'm here because I love you and I don't want you to spend eternity in hell. I want you to hear the good news about how God has made a way for you to be forgiven through the work that he finished on the cross 2,000 years ago. So if you repent and put your faith and trust in him, you'll be saved from the wrath that you've earned for lying, for stealing, for, for committing blasphemy, for lust of your heart, for murder of your heart. You'll be saved from all of that, and you will join me as a brother in Christ for eternity, and this will be well worth it, and we'll laugh about it in the, in, in the age to come. But right now, you're just seeing maybe just the game or what, but it's interesting to me that you didn't try to start killing my character until I started talking to you about the name of Jesus Christ. So I would encourage you, find a Bible, read the book of John, read about this God who has saved you and loves you enough that he would send me into this video game so that you could hear this good news, so that you could be saved as well. That's how much God loves you. Okay. I hope you'll consider these should things. We, should we go back to the campfire? You go ahead. I think you have proven out. Uh, where your heart lies, but I hope you'll reconsider these things. I don't think he ever told me his name. Uh, everything's ruined. I can't. I can't ring it out. Would you uh, drop the gospel in here again? So I'm glad you came back. Happy to share it with you again. Gospel means good news. The bad news is we've all sinned and deserve the wrath to come. But Jesus the Messiah died for our sins, was buried, and then raised again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven, and right now he is seated at the Father's right hand. Jesus said, I am the way and the truth and the life. No one comes to the Father except through me. The time is fulfilled the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent and believe in the gospel. Now here's the question for you. Do you think this gospel I've shared with you is the truth or do you think it's a lie? I mean, I don't think it's a... I'm not sure. You're not I'm sure? Skeptical. That's I, I appreciate uh, yeah. your honesty. I appreciate that. So go to the book of John... Read about this gospel for yourself. Find out if it is the truth. Because it is, and your eternal destiny is what hangs in the balance. Where are you going to spend eternity? Yeah. This game is not important. You are important. Your life's important. What's going to happen after you die? Because you're going to stand before God. And you're either going to stand there in front of him in your sin, and he's going to find you guilty and send you to that terrible place called hell, or you're going to stand before him in the righteousness of his son, Jesus Christ, and he's going to welcome you into eternity. A new earth, heaven on earth, you're going to be there with other believers, a multitude beyond counting, praising God for saving wretched sinners like you and I from the wrath that we deserve. It's a free gift. You accept that gift through repentance, turn from your sins, and put your faith and trust in him and in him alone. Do you have access to a I'm Bible? Sorry, Do you have access to a Bible? Yeah. In the Bible, in the New Testament, there's a book of John. Will you read the book of John and find out for yourself if this is true? Because it is, and you can know for yourself. Will you do that? Yeah, I'm Googling it right now. The book of John. Excellent. My name is Peter. Yeah. Would it be okay if I just asked your first name? You did. It's Gabriel. Gabriel, that's right. I'm sorry. Well, you kind of attacked me, so I kind of had to uh, leave my mind there. So, Gabriel, the only things I can do for you is share the gospel with you, but the other thing I can do is pray for you. Gabriel, would it be okay if I prayed for you? Yeah, I'll do that. Heavenly Father, I am grateful that you brought Gabriel here. I'm grateful that he came back to hear this good news about how he can be saved from the wrath to come. Of course, he doesn't understand this all, Lord, but he said he would go read your book of John. And so I pray, Lord, that you would give him that gift of faith, that he might repent of his sins, put his faith and trust in your son, Jesus Christ, 
and be saved from the wrath to come. I know, Lord, this is only possible through the work that you do. And I pray for Gabriel now, Lord, that you would save him. I ask all this in Jesus Christ's name, my King and Savior. Amen. Thank you for letting me pray for you, Gabriel. Do you have any questions I can answer for you? Uh, yeah. So, uh, um, you think I would go to, think I would go to hell? Well, here's a question, Gabriel. Have you ever lied in your life? Have you ever told a lie? Yeah, of course. You okay. have too. I have. Everyone you're right. Everyone has. Everyone has. You're exactly right. So, if you lie, what does that make you? What do you call somebody who tells lies? A uh, liar. You're exactly right. So, if you've lied, what does that make you? A liar. You're exactly right. So, here is what God says. He says, all liars will have their place in the lake of fire. That's just for lying. One lie and you're in hell for eternity. The issue is we haven't just done one. We've lied. We've stolen. We've coveted. We've broken all of God's laws. And he will find us guilty. If you're found guilty by God when you stand before him as a good and righteous judge, do you think he's going to send you to heaven? Or do you think he's going to send you to hell? I mean, in, uh, Jesus died for our sins. So. He did. He did. But the question is, have you received that free gift? Have you repented and put your faith and trust in him and in him alone? Because that's how you're forgiven. Not just because Jesus paid for your sins on the cross. You have to yeah. receive that free yeah, gift. I'm, I'm baptized. So I didn't say yeah. anything about being baptized. This has nothing to do with being baptized. This has to do with have you repented and put your faith and trust in him? Have you accepted that free gift? Have you been born again? Have you been indwelt by the very spirit of God? Have you been made a new creation in Christ? I mean, I'm not really... Uh, I'm not really sure if I believe in God. But, uh, well, that's that's a good point. So now but you sometimes, know. Sometimes I do pray. Good. Good, Gabriel. And you times. should. You should. But here's the thing. There's only two options. And if you are saved, if you are in Christ, you're 100% saved. And you can be sure. You can be positive. It's 100%. And if you're not 100% sure, then guess what? You can be 100% sure that on the day that you die, you will stand before God and he will find you guilty for what you've done. And he will rightfully send you to that terrible place called hell. Gabriel, I just met you. I love you. I don't want you to go to that terrible place called hell. That's why I'm taking the time to share the gospel with you. Do you understand? Yeah. Let me ask you a different question, Gabriel. Do you know the day and the hour that you're going to die? No. No, nobody does, do they? Everybody is going to die. Everybody. We don't know how much time we have. So there's an urgency about this, Gabriel. Today is the day of salvation. Repent and believe in the gospel. Today is the day to know that your sins are paid for because of the completed work of Christ on the cross. So here's the question. What are you going to do, Gabriel? Are you going to accept this free gift or are you going to reject it? Okay, what do, I, what do I have to do? You have to repent. That is to forsake your sins. Stop lying. Stop stealing. Stop coveting. Stop breaking God's law. Turn from your sins. They're leading you to death. And then put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ. That he is who he said he is. God himself. And that he did what he said he did. When he said it is finished on the cross. The debt is paid. You trust in him and in him alone. You don't trust in your own goodness because we've already established you don't have any. You accept that free gift of Jesus Christ 
and you're saved from the wrath to come. Okay. How do I do that? I just explained it to you. I look up the... Uh, uh, what's it called? The Book of John? What's it called again? Yeah. I look up... I read the Book of John. And then... Read the Book of John. And then come and find me. I'm on Twitch. My name is Missionary Gamer. All one word. On Twitch. You can come by. I'm happy to answer your questions. I have the, I have the Gospel in uh, German... We have links we can help you out with. I can answer your questions. You're always welcome if you need prayer. But it's between you and God. All I can do is share this good news with you. After that, you have to decide, is this true or is it a lie? And you have to, if it's true, then today is the day of salvation for you, Gabriel. Repent of your sins, put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, and be saved from the wrath that you've earned. But that's between you and God. All I can do is share this good news with you. I can pray for you, which I've done. I can answer any questions. But ultimately, it's between you and God. That make sense? Yeah, okay. Uh, can I ask you something? Of course. So, what's your backstory? My backstory is for, you... yeah, for 40 years, I chased the world. For 40 years, I wasted my life loving the things of the world, money and women and sex and power. I loved everything of the world. But then somebody shared the gospel with me 11 years ago, and I repented and put my faith in Jesus Christ, and I was saved from the wrath that I earned. Somebody shared it with me, just like I'm sharing it with you, and I trusted Jesus for my salvation. And that day... I was made a new creation in Christ. I was indwelt by the very Spirit of God Himself. And over 11 years now, He has made me a new person. I have a new heart. I love you. I haven't even met you, Gabriel, and I love you. And now He gives me this ministry to be able to come into games, to be able to share the gospel with people like you all over the world. And I've been doing it for five years now. Okay. That's my testimony I just shared with you. Yeah. That's a good question. Do you have other questions? So, so, like, you can't have <clears throat> sex with different women? No, I'm married. Marriage. Married. Yes, I'm married to my lovely wife. Yeah, but me. But me. No, that's a sin. I... Yeah, get married. You can have all the sex you want. Get married. Find a God-fearing woman. Get married. And you can have all the sex you want. It's a blessing from God. You see, that's the thing I don't like. I know. That's because you like your sin. I completely understand. That's the sin you have to repent of. You have to give up the things that are going to take you to hell. Sexual immorality. Thieving. Lying. Blasphemy. But all these things. Does it matter? Look, I'm... I'm uh, 20 years old. Does it matter if I do this now or in 20 years? Or that's a very years? that's a very good question, Gabriel. Here's the question I asked you earlier. Do you know when you're going to die? No. You're 20 years old. Okay, people I get who are, it now. Yeah, people who are 20, they die every day. 150,000 people die every single day. And right now, this is the only moment that you are sure of. God has been patient with you for 20 years. Okay? He's made sure now that you've heard the gospel. Why would you wait another minute? He loves you so much that he has me here, a Christian, to share this good news with you. After you behaved very badly, I still stop. I still love you enough to share the gospel with you so that you can know how you can be saved. Why would you wait at all? That makes sense? Should we kill them? No. Why? 
Because I'm talking about your eternal destiny. What are you worried about the game for? It's just a game. There's no value to it. Think about your soul. Think about where you're going to be spending eternity for. That's what's important. Not this game. I know you're 20 years old, yeah. but I wish, I wish that I had a repented and put my faith and trust in Jesus Christ when I was 20 years old so I could have spent the rest of my life serving him rather than wasting my life serving the world. Think about the opportunity that you have, Gabriel. Today is the day of salvation. You could go from death to life today. You could become a follower of Jesus Christ today. You could stop chasing sin and instead know who our king is. You could be reading his word and you could be serving him faithfully for as much time as God gives you. Why would you waste another minute? I don't know. I do. I you love your sin. Life. Yeah, you love your sin more. That's why. Yeah. And uh, I believe uh, life is about having having fun and uh, being happy and uh, pleasure. I understand. I don't see why. I understand. That's what I thought, yeah, too. I thought that way for 40 years, and I was wrong. What you're saying is foolish, and it's very clear from our, my experience too, right? I know exactly what you're saying. I chased the same things you did, okay? But the wages of sin is death. That's how serious God takes your sin, Gabriel. He's going to pay you in death. And it's not just death here. It's death for eternity in a lake of fire. And I don't care how good the pleasure is. It's not worth burning for eternity for it. Gabriel, yeah. I appreciate you listening to me. I appreciate you letting me share the gospel with you. I appreciate your questions, and I want you to check my motives. Why am I here? Why am I sharing this with you? Why are you listening? It's because you know in your heart of hearts that you are going to be held accountable for your sinful deeds. You're going to stand before God, but there's a gift for you. It's free. You have to repent and put your faith and trust in Jesus Christ, and you can be saved from the wrath that you've earned, Gabriel. I hope you'll consider this. Will you? Yeah, I'm thinking about this. I can tell, and I'm grateful for that. That shows that you're being thoughtful, and that shows that God is at work in you. Today is the day. If you, if you feel him calling upon you, don't harden your heart. Soften your heart. Think about your eternal destiny. Before you put your head on your pillow tonight, pray to him and say, God, I met this crazy guy in a video game and he was talking about this, this, this King Jesus Christ and how he, what, he died for my sins 2,000 years ago? How, Lord, how is this possible? Please help me understand. Please answer my prayer. Help me to know how I can be saved. He's faithful to answer that prayer, Gabriel. No one who comes to him will be turned away. I encourage you to be thoughtful about it, Gabriel. Is there any other questions you have? No, I'm good. Okay. If there's anything else I can do, please don't hesitate to come find me. Missionary Gamer. I hope you'll think about these things. Yeah, okay. God be with you, Gabriel. You too. Please pray for Gabriel. All right, we are going to listen uh, to the American Gospel while I finish up, and then we will give a raid. All right, let's see. It is a pain to know that there are people who do not know Jesus. It is a greater pain to know that oftentimes Jesus and Christianity is being distorted. Who told you you can't accomplish your dreams? I had no clue what the gospel was. I never really heard it. You know, God wants you healthy. I worked for my uncle Benny Hinn, who's a famous faith healer. As far as I knew, he died and rose again so that I could have a prosperous life. 
But what was going through my mind at the time was that this was real. Charlatans and snake oil salesmen have been doing this trick for decades. People think basically that religion is there to boost your ego, make you happy, make you more successful, make life go well. Um, and as I got older, I really started to question God and how he could send people to hell. Scripture says that we make the mistake of thinking God was like us. And what you do is you create a God who only wants to give you all the desires of your heart. Your destiny is calling out. It's time to start living large. We stayed in hotels upwards of $20,000 a night. Nobody wants to die, nobody wants to be sick, and nobody wants to be poor. All the things that Jesus says we have to be willing to set aside to follow him, they take all of those things and they make that the attraction of the gospel. We are exporting the very worst of what Christianity has to offer. I'm strong, I'm healthy, I'm blessed, I'm favored. I am a victor, not a victim. I'm going to live a long, productive, faith-filled life. In terms of biblical Christianity, Christianity is about dying. How can I just continue to live my life as if this isn't true? So I abandoned my version of the American dream, and I said, I will do what I can to take the gospel to the nations. Thanks, brother. I muted myself while it was playing. Uh, highly recommend the American Gospel. Can't uh, recommend it highly enough. And also, uh, I was saying thank you, Stetson, for coming in and dropping um, uh, John 15, 13. Uh, Greater love has no man than this than to lay down one's life for his friends. So I'm thankful for you coming in, Stetson. Today was a great, great opportunity to share the gospel. I am so thankful. And um, many, many opportunities today. It was rough, too. That was some tough, uh, some tough encounters. Um, but that was Gabriel, and after trying to kill my character, I think he was waiting for his buddy uh, to come up and give him a hand. So um, I kind of noticed when I was exiting out there, he grabbed his uh, bludgeoning tool there, but I didn't give him enough chance to do it. So I, I hopefully we ended on a good note, and I hope you'll think about these things. So um, I'll catch you up to speed, Stetson, with where we're at with Missionary Gamer. I'm, I'm refocused. Uh, I'm not going to bother chasing uh, those jobs anymore. So, yeah, I'm back. Hopefully, uh, good Lord willing. All right, we're going to give a raid. God be with you. Oh, okay, I got you, I got you. Raid. Yo, Missionary Gamer, what's up, brother? Welcome, welcome. Thanks so much for the raid. Guys, get some hype in the chat for Missionary Gamer and his community. Come on in. Welcome. Great to have you guys in here. Hope you're doing fantastic. How was your stream today? Missionary, how was the stream today, brother? So good to see you. Hope all is well. We are doing fantastic, man. I hope you guys are doing well also. Thank you so very much for bringing your community over to hang out with us and uh, to be a part. If you guys are new to the channel coming over in the raid, my name is Eagle Garrett. I'm a full-time streamer here on Twitch and a content creator on YouTube. If you've been here before, welcome back. If this is your first time, welcome for the first time. Uh, hit that follow button if you'd like to join the flock. We'd love to have you in the community with us. But either way, honored and privileged. Honored and privileged to have you guys over here. Thank you so very much. How was the stream today, bro? Came in during a raid. Just didn't come with the raid. Yo, Sarah, welcome, though. Perfect timing. You're, you're raiding from a different point of origin. You know what I mean? Raiding from a different point of, point of origin. Not too shabby. Not too shabby.
Alright guys, got me with you.